It's your girl Queen at Hubert in Hollywood Milkshake. It's your favorite boy Jerry Williams. And I'm here to let you know where to watch I mean bangers, action movies. I need you all to subscribe to Arrow Dreams Nolly TV on YouTube. And trust me, you watch Nollywood movies is gonna be interesting. Love you guys. picking my calls now. Huh? Does he mean he's not back yet? Or he's purposely ignoring my calls? Night, Mama. It was fine. It doesn't look like you slept at all. Mm, my dear, I won't lie to you. I didn't sleep a week throughout the night. Why now? What happened? Was it your heart again? It's my son. My son has sworn to trouble me to death. I bet he already knows what you wanted to talk about. That's why he's ghosting you. He knows, right? Mm -hmm. And he's pretending like he's too busy to even say hello. Come on, hello. Or maybe not. Maybe he's actually busy. You know how these city guys can be. You don't know my son. My son can never be too busy for me. Especially when we haven't spoken for so long. There's definitely something he's hiding from me. Yes. And I am going to find out. It's okay, Mama. Have you had something to eat? I could quickly whip you something to eat before going to work. Ah, that's so thoughtful of you. Your recipe is worth dying for. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alright, Mama, give me a moment. Thank you. 
had to dust the whole place. I feel where it's sparkling. Waiting for my arrival. Looks like you did a hell of a job. Of course I did. And that's why you need to get me something lovely on your way coming back. Sure then, babe. <laughs> Um, baby, I'll call you back, please. Welcome back. Hey. Um, Zebedi, who is this woman and what is she doing in my house? Your house? Zebedi, who is this? Huh? Oh. Eh? And what is she doing in my son's house? Your son's... Oh my goodness, God, you are Luta's mom. <laughs> Welcome, ma. I've heard a whole lot about you. Welcome. I, I never knew you were Lotan's mom. Lotanna is my son. Now, where is he? I need him to come and tell me who you are and what in God's name you're doing in his house. Well, Lotan is not around, but I am Lotan's friend. His friend, you say? Yes. Uh, Sebedi, I think I think to the room. Hey, okay, okay, madam. <laughs> what? Who is madam? Sorry, Auntie. Will you shut up your mouth? Will you shut up? If you call your gas fling, madam, what then will you call his wife? Wife? Man, can you tell me saying don't marry you? Madam, wait a minute. You said no, tell me. It's okay. Just take her thing inside, please. And mama, I never knew you were coming. Trust me. I would have prepared something delicious for you. But nevertheless, just go in, freshen up and rest while I whip up something nice for you to eat. <laughs> Take the bag inside, please. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I don't feel like crying away. I don't know I feel like crying away. Ooh, I feel like crying away. Feel like crying away. Feel like crying away. Oh, 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 oh. I don't feel like crying away. So this is why, huh? So this is why all this while I've been calling this boy, he's not taking or even returning my calls. It is because he has a woman in this house and he doesn't want me to know about it. Really? Luta, Luta, now why? Why would you want to do something like this when you already know I have made so much investment in getting a good woman for you? <sighs> There's no way I am going to allow this happen. Not under my watch. You will come back and meet me in this house. My mother is what? Well, you heard me clearly. It seems she doesn't even know about relationships. I mean, even though we've been dating for three years and captain. I can't believe this. Why is she there? And I'm supposed to answer that. I'm sorry, it's a stupid question. Why would, why would she do this? Well, I don't know. But you know what? You have to hurry up with your arrival because at this point she is really pissed. I mean, she's so angry. Sure then. I'm going to try my best to be there earlier. Okay then. Sleep tight. I was about coming to call you. The food is ready. You cook. 
court. Yes, Mama. I I did. On whose permission? Mama, I, I don't understand. I asked you on whose permission did you carry your lousy self into my son's kitchen? By the way, what exactly are you to him? His wife? Mama, I am Lieutenant's friend. Isn't that what you said? Is this how friends behave? They come to their friend's house and they start feeling overly comfortable and start gallivanting about. Really? Is that how you behave? Ma, I think you're getting everything all wrong. I am not just Luther's friend. I am his son prostitute he picked from the road. But I thought prostitute job ends after the night. Or have you decided to make my son your regular customer? Well, if that is your plan, then you have failed. Because my son is not that kind of a man. My husband and I raised him very well. So there's no way he's going to behave in such a derogating manner. Excuse me, ma'am. With all due respect, I am not a prostitute. I am just a student trying so hard to survive. A student! A student! A student! Everybody claims to be a student! Really? A student, you say? Student, my foot! That's how you people go about milking people dry! Well, let me tell you. If that is your plan, you have failed. Because I am here now. I am here to turn my son's head around. Put him on. Excuse me? Have you suddenly gone deaf? I'm sure she didn't mean it. Of course she meant it. Baby, you have to have seen the look on her face when she was calling me. All sorts of them. I mean, among all the names in the word prostitute. Listen, baby, I think it is better for me to just go back to my place and then return back to the house where you're back. Don't, I, I, I won't allow it. I wasn't even seeking for your permission. I mean, of what use am I in this house? What am I doing here? Do I need to wait until she insults my whole lineage? Let me go, please. No, baby, no. I'm going to try my best to get back home as, as early as possible. If I wait for you till 6 p.m. tomorrow and you're not back, you know where to find me. Please, can you stay for me? Please, before you know it, I'm back. I don't feel like running away. Feel like running away. Don't feel like running away. Okay, mama. It's time for your medicine. Who is calling me there? Okay, we're speaking. Have you completely lost your mind or you are just lousy and stupid? Excuse me? Oh, well, you were excused. You should be keeping a close watch on her, not lazing about letting her do whatever, whatever the hell she wants. Who is this? While you are on the boat of figuring things out, you are fired. What? Who is this and what do you mean by I'm fired? What is this? What is it? Is something wrong? I'm not sure, Mama. Some person just called and it sounded really crazy. I say no again. I don't even understand, Mama. I mean, this could be a prank call or a wrong number. Because it's an international number. That means it must be a mistake. I have no mistake on your home. I guess so. So, Mama, go inside and sleep. It's oh. late, so your medicine will work wonders, okay? Okay, my daughter. Go in, I will join you soon. You know, go, Mom. Okay. Hi. Hey.
Ah. Has she gone to the shop this early? This woman, where has she gone this time? Eh? She can't even handle be this. This woman just knows how to make my job difficult for me. Mama, good morning. Mama, I now understand why you hate me so much. That's because of the way I spoke to you the first day we met. The first day you came to this house. I've been looking for a way to apologize. I don't need your apologies. Come and sit. I want us to talk. <sighs> Mama, I am seated already. Please. I want to use this medium to apologize to you about what happened to Tati. It was the wrong interpretation about my personality. Trust me, Mama. If only you can relax, then you will be able to understand that I'm an easygoing lady. I am really sorry, please. When are you leaving? Sorry? Do you have a problem with your ears? I said, when are you leaving? Or do you live here now? You know, first, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because the man who brought you to this house and you refuse to leave even when he is not present. Don't tell me you are homeless. Because I'm sure you must have made so much money by selling yourself and dignity as such a cheap platter. With all due respect, Mama, I've had enough of your insults. But I am not a prostitute. I am not. And will never be. Then, are you friends with benefit with my son? Oh, but well, that could be it. Because you city girls have no shame. You have a way of normalizing despicable and disgusting way of life. Mama, you know what? I think it is not possible for you to forgive me and I cannot continue to sit down here and listen to you it's telling me all those things. So please excuse me. Get out of the bed. Sense. I said it. This is why Lutana has refused to come home and get married. Because of all these new city girls who are getting confused. They don't allow my son to think straight. They don't allow him to realize he's not getting any younger. Look at how much I've invested so far in Chim DJ. Chim DJ is my best. Ah, Mama.
And what do you think you're doing in my son's kitchen? <laughs> and cooking. I can see that. I am not blind. But my question is, why? Haven't I warned you not to step those filthy legs of yours into my son's kitchen? And what that makes you think he's going to eat anything prepared by someone like you? Well, Mama, your son is going to enjoy my meal. I mean, this meal just like he does to every other meal that I've ever prepared for him. Huh? I said it! I said it! This boy has been bewitched. Only God knows what you put inside his food that has made him go psycho. I knew it! It is not ordinary. But you know what, my dear? You have failed. Completely failed. Mama, why do you hate me so much? No, I, I wanted to ask you. Have we met anywhere? Do we have any um, have we had any encounter before? Because ever since you stepped your foot into this house, you just exhibited this hatred towards me. I don't have to know you to know what you're capable of. Now let me tell you who you are. You are a snake. A prostitute who has my son under her control. Well, you know what, my dear? Those your plans are in vain. Because as you see me, so I have come to turn everything around. Mama, please, I beg you in the name of God, with all due respect. Do you mind leaving the kitchen so I can at least make food for my man? And who are you to tell me to get out of this place? You get out! Now leave this place! Make something for him, please. I said get out! Are you mad? I guess you haven't even experienced what motherhood is all about. You don't know what it feels to carry a child for nine months. Otherwise, you won't be feeding my son with grasses. Nonsense! Just imagine, look at, look at, look at what you want to feed my son with. Now get out of this place. I want you never to step out into this kitchen. You think I was joking? You think I was joking? And the Nonsense! Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Just imagine. Look at you, you look so beautiful. Oh, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's after my son? Uh -huh. Mom! <laughs> look at you! <laughs> what have you been eating? I've been enjoying myself. Do I have any choice? Of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> mom, 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 mom. You know you are full of surprises, right? When well, you only push me to my limit, what do you expect me to do? Hmm? I miss you so much, oh, I miss you. <laughs> Good to be home! Yeah. Oh, hey. Baby. Oh. 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 Mom, we have a long talk. You know right? Yes, we do. Uh, baby, I know you have a long talk with your mom, but just uh -huh. before then, I'd like you to go freshen up, you know, rest a bit before the talk. So I'll be taking you upstairs. <laughs> Oh my son. Come, oh, let's get inside. I'll be right back. <laughs> and I feel like crying away. I don't know why. I feel like crying away. Ooh, 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 I feel like crying away. 
I don't feel like crying Here we are. Wow. <laughs> Mother, this is quite a feast. <laughs> Must have taken you a long time to fix this. Oh, of course, you know. You know your mother. I take my time. I'm not like all these city girls that are throwing their weight around who rush inside the kitchen and the next minute they are already out. They cannot bend down and cook real food. Huh? And you know how much you love my cooking. Yes, mom, I love your cooking. I miss your food, man. It's been a while. I know. <laughs> but don't worry, eh? I am here now. You will get to eat to your heart all that you crave for. Hmm? Right, Enjoy, my son. Tell me, how was your day? I mean, how did it go? Great. And? Honestly, honey, I've been, I've been putting so much work in this contract, man. I just hope it doesn't fail this time, man, because truthfully, I really need that contract. Come on. You will get it. I mean, it will work out. You've done everything possible in your power. Something that even your community counselor can't even do such. Exactly why I need to get this contract. If not for me, for my people. I'll do anything, everything to get this particular contract. I just hope I get it. You will get it. Enough about business, contract. There is something I've been longing for. Something like, um... <laughs> oh, stop! What is going on here? Matana, yes, yes. what are you doing? Mom, please! There is a need for this door. Why would you just barge in on me like that? Will you shut up? What is there that I haven't seen before? You are my son. I am a full grown man now. I'm not a boy. I need some level of privacy. Are you coming downstairs so that we can talk? Or would you rather we we'll sit down here and discuss? If that is the case, then the intruder should leave us. What exactly are you talking about? Because I don't understand anything you just said. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, Lieutenant, my son, you haven't seen anything. I haven't even started. Three minutes and you're not down. I want to understand the meaning of what you just did. Hmm. You know what? I haven't even started anything. I have not started it. Mother, please. I had a long day. My body doesn't seem to have gotten the rest that it needs. Please, if you have something to talk about, can we get talking already? Oh, your body needs rest. And we are about starting something with that thing. Mother, come, you... Come, 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 Do you even think you are talking to a child? Mother, you broke my privacy. That's not good for me. I'm still trying to reckon it to my... I'm still trying to digest it. Please don't bring it up. Please. Oh. Well. At this point, I have to get down to specifics. Sit down. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Lieutenant, 
when do you think is the right time for you to get married? I mean, you are not getting any younger. Is this what you want for your life? Carrying women up and down? Don't you have any plans at all of settling down? Mother, you surprised me. I kept someone here in my house and made a trip. Are you not supposed to understand that there is something extreme, something very serious that binds us? Alright, like you said, for specifics. That is the woman I intend to spend the rest of my life with. Are we clear on that? Mother, if you look at me very well, you see there is nothing absolutely wrong with me. Lotana, everything is wrong with you. You are not well. In fact, you must have eaten something that is not good for your system. Because you can't be well and be, and be talking nonsense. Telling me that you're going to marry who? That Obanje girl. No, I'm asking you why. Why wouldn't I marry her? Because you don't like her? Is that it? Because she's an Obanje. And you're not a spiritual husband. Therefore, there's no connection between both of you. Mother, honestly, yeah. Every time I try to understand you better, it feels like I fail. One cannot understand you. You are the person trying to bring down brainstones and fire, forcing me, telling me that I need to get married as possible. And now that I have found the one I love, the woman of my dream, the one I wish to spend the rest of my life with, you seem to have a problem with that. I don't understand you. That is because I would never allow you to marry her. Even in your wildest dream, you cannot marry her. In fact, if you're dreaming and you see yourself getting married to her, you have to break up because it means I am no longer your mother. I have an investment for you back there in the village. Jim DJ is my investment. And if you think I will sit down and watch you get married to that Obanje, then you are joking. In fact, the both of you are jokers. actually came from you. Lotana, are you driving me out of your house? No, 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 no. Are you chasing me out of your house? Far from it, mother. Far from it. You know I never do anything like that. Why would I chase you from your own house? Huh? All right, mother. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I just... Just assume I didn't see anything. Okay? It's your house. Be comfortable, okay? The housekeeper is on, on her way here. Aside cleaning the house, she'll... She make varieties of meals and then you can have, you can choose what you want to eat. Hmm? And then on my way back, I'll see how I can discuss with the doctor so that they'll come give you a proper checkup since you're here now. Checkup? Mm -hmm. What for? You've already made an arrangement for me back home. Why do we need another one? Mother, if there's anything you know about me is zero tolerance to incompetence. I don't want to take that risk. Sorry, mother. One second. Babe! Yeah, babe! Come on, 
now off! Let's go! Who kept you? Sorry. Okay, I'm good to go. Mama, we're ready to go now. I'll see All you right, later. Take care of yourself, eh? Alright. Bye, Mama. Uh, I want to just wait for me on the couch again. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Mom. My son, I love you more, eh? I'll see you when I come back. If you want anything, do not hesitate to let me know. All right. From the inscription here, this is 13 Zamani Crescent. Am I right? Uh huh, you're right. Uh, you never answer my question. I said, Who are you and what are you doing here? Yeah, my name is Nkiru. I am a nurse. I am here for Madam Angelica. I am her caregiver. Caregiver? Yes. You should have come be caregiver. Huh? Uh, huh? I understand. Don't worry. But. Please, can you help me go in and tell her and Kiru, her nurse is here. Oh. I'm sure she would like to see me. You be nurse? Yes. Like this way you do? <laughs> yes. You know what thing will happen there? Eh? You will just date there. You tell me, you go date there. Make her go inside Gucci, go tell her say, person the final. No cross or no push the gate again. No. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was really worried when I went to your house but couldn't find you. I mean, I didn't even know about your move until my, my chief called to tell me of your trip. Oh, I'm very sorry, my dear. I'm sorry for scaring you, but it was necessary I came here. And may I know what was so important that you had to leave so abruptly. Oh, confidentiality, I guess. Oh well, but Mama, you can't be here. I mean, I understand you're worried about your son, but he is no longer a baby. I mean, he can take care of himself. Son? What are you doing here? Didn't I fire you? And I believe my chief told you you can't fire me without a clear explanation. Which from all indications, it's not even my fault. Fired? Lutana, you can't fire her because Nkiru is the best caregiver I've had in recent times. She's very good. You were supposed to keep an eye on her. That is your job. How could you have allowed her to embark on such journey alone? 
What if something had happened to her? And nothing happened to her. She is a grown woman and not a baby. If I needed to babysit anyone, definitely not my Madame Angelica here. She is here, clearly okay and alive. So, mister, get off your high horse. If you were actually worried about your mother, you shouldn't have allowed her worry to the point of having to come here all by herself. Such temerity. Is this how she talks, mother? I just told you the truth. She is your mother. Quite all right. And I know you love her. But that doesn't mean you love her more than I do. She is my work. And I do that work with everything in me. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough, both of you. Look, I am fine. I am good. And, in fact, no one is fired. Nkiruka is very good at what she does. So there's no way I am going to replace her for anyone else. Thank you, Mama. She said what? You heard me, darling. Wait. And what did you do? Nothing. What were you expecting me to do? To start bickering words with her? I think that's going to solve anything for me. So what did your boyfriend say? He said nothing. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even around. Of course I knew he wasn't around. What did he say when he came back? I don't know, but I know they talked at length. Oh. About the married thing, I guess. Yes. You know, I don't understand why he keeps fronting the word fiancé right in front of her. And yet he doesn't tell me anything. He hasn't even said anything to me. Well, to the woman, it's off. But of course it does. <sighs> Listen, girlfriend. That woman came to the house for a purpose. And for her to actualize a purpose is for her to get another woman for her son. Oh, please. Never. It is not possible. My Luther can never take another woman instead of me. I mean, it's not possible. Never underestimate the power of a mother. Yes, you and I know that God gave us the greatest power we could have over a man. Now add that to the power a mother wields. What does that tell you? <laughs> Listen, Wendy, I've got this. I, Whitney, will not allow any woman I do not care if it has to be Luther's mother, siblings, nephews. Nobody will take him away from me. Nobody. Well, I hope so. I hope you don't lose him in this our peer meet meet here. Because it's going to be a hell of finance for you. I've got this. Luther isn't going anywhere. He's mine and mine forever. Yes, Mama. Things got a little out of hand. Everything is all right here. I'll be back tomorrow. I know you're no longer a child, but I don't feel comfortable leaving you all by yourself in that house. Yes, Mama, they gave me a nice meal. It's good. Okay, Mama. I have to go now. You take care of yourself and take your medication on time and go to sleep, okay? Take care. You are finally here. I was already getting tired of waiting. I thought by now you should have gotten into your guest room. Freshen up before coming out for the meeting. I prefer finishing with the meeting, so once I retire to the room, I'll know I'm done for the day. All right. Let us proceed with the meeting. Okay. I... 
I want us to reach a new contract. On. I... I think my mother has gotten fond of you, Amen. She wouldn't stop insisting that it has to be you, Amen. I've suggested to her that we get all the caregivers that can do almost what you do for her, but it's you, 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 that's what she says. So I'd like us to have this meeting, I mean, let's have this contract without any middleman. Just me and you. Wow, that's, that's a nice offer. Thank you, sir. But I don't think I'm going to need to sign a new agreement or a contract. Why? Because I can't. I won't. Your mother and my chief already have something that is working out really well for all of us. So asking me to be with your mother everywhere, especially here, is like asking me to uproot my life and come be here, which is not possible. It's quite a good offer. A lot of people, your class, your mate, would jump, die for that offer. I mean, it's not like you have somewhere else you'd stay. You stay right here, where you have all the comfort. All I need you to do is, please, Stay back. I'll be the caregiver to my mother. I am sorry, sir. But that is not ever going to work. <sighs> Why? Because I have some personal reasons. It wouldn't. Why do you even need to alter this arrangement when all you could do is bend a little to your mother's wish and let her worry less. I beg your pardon? Do the right thing. Extinguish this fire that is burning every time she thinks about what is really wrong with you. All right. I'll do with your salary. <laughs> I am not. I'll triple it. All right. I'll quadruple it. Get another health caregiver. I am sure they will jump at the offer. Good night. Say something you don't like. No, of course not, Mama. No, you didn't do or say anything wrong. It's just that, um, like I explained, that was the best decision I could come up with. Don't worry, Mama. Mr. Okudili is going to get you another better person. And I don't want another better person. I like you, Kiro. I like you. I communicate with you very well. That's all that matters to me. It's the distance, Mama. It was much easier. But here, I can't. I mean, I can't leave my job back in my community like that. I hope you understand that. Of course. She understands that. It's just that she misses you. But not to worry, Mother. I'll get you a new caregiver here in the city. Hmm? You heard that, Mama. He's got this all sorted out. Also Don't worry, good. you'll be fine. And I'll also get you a nurse that will take very good care of you. Hmm? I'm in Kiru. Thank you very much for everything. Um, I'm off to work as soon as I get there. I have the accountant wire your balance 
to your account and then I'll have to call my lawyer to terminate the contract that we have or accept this as a little token for your transport. Oh, thank you, sir. But I don't... <laughs> don't worry, my son. Just have a great day at work. And while you are at it, I think it's going to be better if you can get a hang of this whole stuff so you will be able to do that for her while you wait for the better person. Thank you. Mother, <laughs> and I love you, right? I love you more, my son. Let me rush to the office. I'll see you later. All right. Hmm? Kiro, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Take care of yourself, eh? That's all right, mother. I'll call you. All right. <sighs> Kiro, you wanted to reject it, isn't it? You wanted to reject it because you're too modest. And that is why I like you. But you see, my son has given the money already. The money has been given out. At least take it and buy something for people at home. Hmm? Mama. Mm -hmm. You always insist. Yes. You see, you are my friend. My very good friend. And you know I'm the only one that can stand up for you. So. Have it. Thank you, Mama. No, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, please take good care of yourself, eh? And you too, Mama. Mm -hmm. Don't hesitate to call me if you need any assistance. Please. Of course, I will. And I'll call you as soon as I get back home. All right, Mama. Come. <laughs> I miss you, Mama. I will miss you more. All right. Take, take care, care of yourself. Of course, please. I will. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye, Mama. I just can't wait to be done with that school. Are oh, you almost there? One more year and you're good. I mean, so enough of me. Tell me, how are you? How is your mom? Still there. I don't think she's going home anytime soon. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that your mom is still in the house? Wait, mother. Should I understand this to mean that what you just said is the reason we're holding this meeting? Look, I am not here to whip up emotions with you. I am not just a woman. I am a mother who wants the best for her son. When... When you say best, what exactly do you... Do you mean what are the qualities, the characteristics that one needs to possess before the person is... best? Chimdiche? And what is wrong with Chimdiche? What is wrong with her? Well, mother... I've not said she's not a good girl. I mean, the girl is good. She's a fine girl. It's just that... Just what? Just what, Lutanna? Look, I think your problem is that you have refused to focus on her. You focus on these city girls who have tampered with the natural settings God has given to them. Well, you know what? I will not allow my son to settle down with such women. First, Mother, I'd like to educate you a little bit. It's a new world. There are no virgins anymore. No one. No one is perfect. I'm sure you know that. I know. But Jim DJ is different. Can't you even think about her name? Jim DJ. Or DJ. Which means she is different. Look, I single-handedly picked her up for you. Or don't you trust your mother again? I do. I always do. Now let me make this clear to you one more time. I have someone in my mind. Someone I'm dating, I have someone I love. Someone I am going to spend the rest of my life with. Not your gym DJ. <laughs> you mean that prostitute? No. You didn't just say that. Mother! 
Don't ever call her that again. You hear me? Don't! Mother, what has that innocent girl done to you? Why are you bent on frustrating her? Why do you despise her? Why so much hatred towards the girl? What has she done? Everything. She has done everything. She is! She is! A good girl, someone your chimney chair can never be. Why have you blatantly refused to give this girl a chance to know you and for you to know her? What has she done wrong? I'll tell you what then, whether you like it or not, I will spend the rest of my life with her. I love her. The biggest problem you have is that you have me, Angelica, as your mother. Look, Lutana. Look, let me tell you, I am not one of those mothers that are intimidated by their children. Mother, I will not intimidate you. It doesn't stop me from telling you the truth. I love that girl. Hmm. With or without your consent, I will marry her. You can go and tell that to your colleagues at your place of work. You can go and, 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 and deceive them. Look, let me tell you. You must marry Chindiche whether you like it or not. Don't even try to play hard now with me. You want to be as stubborn as your father? Your father could not break me. So you cannot. I don't feel like crying away. I don't feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. My choice, my duty, my best Yes, I am coming back. And you know what? I am not coming back empty handed. So, Mama, you're saying I'm getting married? Exactly. You are. Everything has been talked about and everything has been fixed. You know, I promised you I am coming back with good news. Mama, this is good news. It's the best news I've ever heard in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I am glad you are happy. Eh? You see, eh? soon enough, you are going to laugh out loud. Yes, you will laugh and she will be on the devil. <laughs> My beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> the key to the house? I mean, it's locked. Uh -uh. What? Mama just come out from the door. It, it should be open. Mama, please. I need the keys to the house. As you can see, it's evening already. I had a very stressful day today. What is it? Huh? What is your problem? What is it? Is this your father's house? Haven't I told you to leave my son alone? Huh? The door is locked for a reason which is simple. Leave my son alone! How much of this do you want to hear before it will get into your head? The house, my son, is not for you all! Ha! Tebe Didi! Go down the road, buy me an apple. Yeah. Mm, that woman that sells apple, quickly! Hey, <laughs> mama. Money? Use yesterday's change and buy me an apple. 
Oh, what? I... I... I've eaten it all. Stupid boy. Yes, hello, Lothar. Lothar, I cannot continue like this anymore. I can't continue to be treated like an outcast in your house. What the hell is going on? What have I done wrong? Your mother locked the door. I can't even get into the house. This is not fair. The question is, why is she treating me like this? What have I done to her? Excuse me? You want me to give your mother my, my, my phone? Are you kidding me right now? Like, are you serious? You know what? I am done with all this drama. I'm done with this bullshit. Zebedee! Please open the gate for me. So, come and marry husband now. I told you, I told you that my presence in this house marks your end. It is happening. Useless girl. You think you think my son will marry a tainted woman like you? Nonsense. <laughs> This life is sweet, oh. and go down to you. Why would you lock her outside my house? My house, but I'm not yours. Why would you do that? Why, why, why are you bent on frustrating that girl? Why? Will you take the base off your tone while talking to me? I am your mother! She told you I locked her out? Didn't you? No, you tell me. Didn't you? You want to deny it? Go ahead. Deny it! Does it matter if I did or not? Does it matter? Anyway, you're going to believe her because she has brainwashed you as always. No one has brainwashed me, mother. And stop turning tables. What has that innocent girl done to you? Mother, that girl loves you. That girl wants to be close to you. She wants you to see her as a daughter when she calls you mother. Look, I am not going to warm up for her or any other girl. Come and marry Ching DJ. Come and pay her bright bread. That is never ever going to happen. I've stated my point already and that stands. Mother, you 
are pushing me into the wall. I mean, how else will I make you understand that I am serious? You cannot be serious. Lotana, you can never be serious. There is no way you are not going to marry her. The last time, you complained she is not educated and therefore not sophisticated enough. I took it upon myself, spent my hard earned money, invested so much in her, sent her to school, saw her through school, and now she's everything intelligent, smart, homely, and non touched. You can't compare her to that stupid city girl called Whitlow. Wait, me! Mother, her name is Whitney. That person your team teacher will never be. Mother, I like this girl. I love her. Why would you want me to be with someone or someone I barely even know? Why? I guess it's because you have zeroed your mind on this stupid city girl and that is why you can never see anything good in Jim DJ. But listen to me, let me tell you. Your mother and I've spoken and my boss are final. I don't feel like crying away. I don't feel like running away. Take this song off. I don't feel like running away. 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 I 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 feel like running away. It's like I'm left in the middle of nothing Could it be the I'm caught up just for some reasons? Oh, not knowing who to follow But something inside of me is giving me silence Not knowing who to follow But something inside of me is keeping me silent And the worst of it all is us. She doesn't worry on any of them. Okay. Then go to her place and see her. Who says I haven't? I've been there countless times and even her friend doesn't even pick my call anymore. Well, there's something unexpected. When you said you were having some problems, I didn't for once think it would be this bad. I've been trying my best to fix everything, but my mother, she keeps winning everything for me. Okay, and all of this is because she wants you to get hitched with a girl of her choice. Those things don't work anymore. I mean, gone were those days where parents control their children, tell them exactly what to do. It doesn't happen, in, not in this new age. It doesn't work like that. I know. Lutana, my guy, I know the pain you feel. I mean, the worst part of it all is your mother is actually a very stubborn woman. When she sets her mind on something, she would definitely get it. Well, the reason I'm keeping calm and quiet is because she's my mother. Not like I am ever going to bend to her rules. It's not going to happen. Wow. Mama's boy is finally going out of mother's way. Mm-hmm. Chima, you have to be mindful of what you say. What do you mean by mother's web? 
The fact that I just keep counsel and my mother doesn't worry or suffer, does that mean that I'm under her web, like you said? Do you love her? Do you love her? It's a simple question. Why can't you answer it? No, it's not a simple question. It's a dumb question. How can you be asking me if I... Of course I love her. Else, why am I fighting? Why haven't you proposed yet? I mean, make things official between you two. So she knows what she's fighting for. Don't you think so? Look. I am not saying that you don't love her or questioning your love for her. It's not easy for anyone to fight for what he or she is not sure of. You need to give her something to fight for and something to fight with Lutana. Simple. How do you mean that she my way? Are you insinuating that she feels I do not love her? Is that what you say? <laughs> of course you do. I mean, you can't keep parading yourself to the whole place that she is your fiancé without making her believe it, Lutana. Yes! Wait a minute, Chima. Are you in any way saying that she believes I do not love her? Is that it? I don't know. I'm hungry. When is Mama coming back? I'm hungry because I've not tested her for a long time. I am hungry. You're a big fool. You know that, right? My mother has suddenly become your cook. Really? So far, I will eat. I will eat from your mother's pot. Yeah, fine. Oh, Mama is it? Wow. Mama! <laughs> Chimang Bam! Mama. My son! Chimang Bam! <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even know that you, you're still around. I'm around, my son! So, how are you? Mama, I'm fine. Yeah. How is your wife and your kids? Mama, they are fine. There are three of them now, right? Yes, ma. <sighs> Who could have believed that you're the same age with my son? And you are actually not the only son. I think it's this only son that troubles their mother. I'm here. I know. And that's actually why I'm saying what I said. Now try now. Try and shame the devil by doing the need for my investment. Come in, Mom. You are still working. Aren't you tired? I thought you were asleep by now. Well, Mom, as you can see, the reverse is the case. I'm still very much awake and I'm working. I should be the one asking you that. Why are you not sleeping? Is everything all right? Health issues? You good? You want me to call the doctor? No, 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 no. I am okay. I am perfectly okay. I just came to talk to you. About? I am leaving tomorrow. Why? I mean, why are you in such a hurry? It's alright, feel free. It's funny, right? Go ahead, laugh. Look at now. Your case is getting critical every passing moment. I won't be surprised if she goes ahead with it. Because I think she will. Um. No, I'm not sure she will. Look You know your mother way. You know your mother, especially when she makes threats. They are always promises. I know my mother too well. Achima, just like yesterday, you remember how this whole thing started. It was me receiving my first payment and then I started up a building in the village before all this marriage talk. The person we're talking about here is more like a kid's sister to me. On. Um. How is that a problem? She's an adult. Very soon she'll be out of the university. It's not like getting married to her, you, you, you will abuse her or something.
I don't understand. Is it not you again? Will you ever support me or see things from my point of view? No. Listen, Lothar, now. What is wrong in marrying her just to be on the same page with your mother? Yes! I don't understand. I mean, that's not going to happen. Lota, it won't. Unless you have something off your sleeve, it's high time you took your woman to your mother. Yes! Let them see eye to eye. That is it. I I'm sorry, I've forgotten. You guys are not in talking terms. Uh, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I don't know why you're delaying this thing. I'm keeping it for ages. Wow, is that who I think she is? Hey, hey. Wow. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Wow. How are you? <laughs> Hi. With me? Hi, Chima. Have you been here for long? No, not quite long. Oh, uh, I see. You look so adorable. Thank you. <laughs> So, how have you been? Uh, good. Okay. How's it? Hey? Fine. I need to go prepare lunch. More staff. What? <laughs> Let me get to lunch. Two lovers. <laughs> Two lovers. <laughs> lovers. <laughs> no, Tasha is not running away. I never said she was. I just wanted to know. Don't talk in. Okay. Yeah. What else do you have to say? Oh, she's beautiful. I must say she's beautiful. Wow, you two love birds are something else. I'm happy for you, but seriously, I'm happy. Thank you. You don't know his mother is going to go all ballistic if she knows you two are back together. Just a few days she left, right? I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to blot it out like that. I'm sorry from the depth of my heart. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. I mean, it's quite understandable. It is no longer news that she doesn't like me. And I'm not sure about her either. Hey. What? I can't like one who doesn't like me. Oh, wait. Your mother can badmouth me and I can't do the same. What the hell does she think she is? Hey. What? She's still my mother. And so what? What am I? Some trophy girlfriend? Do you know what? I think I lost my appetite. You can have to put your salt. Get your hands off me, please. Oh, Lotanna. Oh, um, please. Uh, I shouldn't have brought it up like that. Okay? From the depth of my heart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have said that. I'm sorry. So what is it? Honestly, Chima, my mother wasn't pleasant at all. It was more like she was after her blood, you know? It was, it was too serious, trust me. She still doesn't have to hate your mother. The woman we are talking about is your mother, her future mother-in-law. Yes, women or mothers are really, really unbearing. But once the wife or the future wife starts saying something wrong, it ends in war. What is it? Whitney, that I know, will never war with my mother. <laughs> She's not violent. Uh, see, women are like that. They give according to what they receive. If you're serious in getting married to her, then place her on the same page with your mother. That's... So what do you suggest I do? Uh, I don't know. Just find a way and make them see eye to eye. You can't marry a woman who will make you choose between the woman that gave back to you and her. What was that? 
I've known Whitney for a while now. For some years. She's not the arrogant type. She's not the violent type. She's not a war type. I doubt if she'd ever have time to have war with my mother. Really? Hmm? That's funny thing, my guy. You can't finish studying a woman, daughter. Don't just make a decision that will bite you in the future. That is why I'm suggesting you make them see eye to eye. That is it. <sighs> Lota, I'll be on my way. I'm sorry for the way I reacted during lunch. Sorry for all the things I said about your mother. I know I overreacted. You know I love your mom, right? Yes, I do. Babe, I understand. It's just that my mother can be very stubborn sometimes. You know what pains me most is the fact that she doesn't always allow me to show myself. She's always trying to bring out the words in me, always pushing me to the wall. And babe, you know there's a limit to what one can take. I'm really trying. I understand. But I... I really want to thank you for your level of patience and tolerance for not lashing out on my mother while I was away. Thank you very much, babe. It's just... It's just that my mother... My mother is very stubborn. More than you. Worse. Thank you for, thank you for everything. I want you to know that I love you. Nothing can change that. I love you too. I'm sorry. My love, <laughs> looks like you're coming back from the market. I went to sell some few farm produce. You know today is AK and with the festival approaching, in fact, this is actually the best time of the year for us. Of course. <laughs> you're very right. Uh, and you're going home now. Exactly. Yeah, come now, let me drop you. No, no, no. Look at my house is just a few blocks away. Don't give yourself that stress. <laughs> I can, I can I go. I am not complaining. In fact, I insist. Look, this woman, you have no idea what I'm planning for you. Do you know I want to buy a brand new car for you? Oh, you have made me to say it. I wanted it to be a surprise. Jello, jello. How come? It's a brand new car. I'm not going to be a driver for you. Uh, and I'll place that driver on salary. I'll be paying your driver to drive you for me. Moto? Yes. Oh, uh, the car. Yes, the new model. The new model of this one. The new model. Half the moto. New model of this the one. The car is coming as a tear rubber. Hey, is it Tear rubber. Keep on keep on tear rubber. You will use your hand and tear the rubber. Oh, but you tear the rubber. Oh well, you can use it if you wish to use it that way. Eh. No problem. Hey, and it's going to be a bulletproof. Cause a shrum can die on your jaw, me me na ram ke. Hey, nge be kwa kwa. It's okay. Bullet Please gine. come, bosses. Come and take her back. Oh, mba no, kamu kute ni ano no. Can you do it? No 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 no. See, I want to pamper you. Hey. What's going on? Thank you. <laughs> Who are you in? You're saying thank you. Come. Hey. You're my in-law. All right. Let us sit first. Huh? Eh? I'm is in the seat down. Please. Hey. Chimo. Sit past my head. I'm so the wrong. He will wash it. That's his job. Don't worry. It's my in-law. You have no idea what I'm planning for. I am going to pamper you. 
I am going to touch you up. Relax. Hey, done with work. Oh yes, I just finished. Oh, you must be hungry, right? I asked Grace to make your favorite masala soup. <sighs> and as much as I would love to taste, but I'm not hungry now. Maybe later. Okay, if you say so. Sweet. Yep. Oi. I need to ask you something. What is it? I'd like you to come home with me. Uh, babe, we are home. What are you talking about? No. Home. I'm talking about my hometown, my village. I'd like to take you to my village. You want me to go with you to the village? Why? Um, I, n n I don't even know. I just, I just want you to come with me. Well, babe, I have a tight schedule and I've got some tests, you know. I don't even know how that would be possible. I'm sure your schedule and your test will be done before the end of the month. Huh? Fine. I'll think about it. Good. Think about it. <laughs> so are you hungry now? Can I get you something to eat? Let's just say I'm hungry now. Uh, when it has to do with your favorite. <laughs> Ichi Adibe, once again you're welcome. Thank you. This is the first time you're visiting my house. Please allow me to offer you something. Mm, don't worry about that. I'm not here for Kula. I'm just here to find out the truth. What truth are you talking about? What are you really doing to my daughter? what I am doing to your daughter. Of all the young women in this town, I found your daughter worthy for my son. You should be happy. Ichi Adibe, if I give me some credit now. Uh -uh. See, there's something you need to understand. Finding a woman for a man and the man finding a woman for himself are not the same thing. Ichi Adibe, and you feel Lotanda, my son, will ever break me by marrying someone I don't want? Is that what you think? Angelica, I want to ask you for a favor. Please, can you leave my daughter out of this? And what does that mean? You see, you're a strong woman, no doubt about that. You can break your son to marry my daughter. But do you think he would ever love her? I don't want my daughter to face hatred from the husband. Ah, ah, ah. it's a deep day. Ah, ah. No, now, it's not possible. Far from it. Look. My son will marry your daughter and make her the happiest woman among her peers. I promise you that. Don't worry. What exactly is his problem? Does he want to kill me or something? Come on, it's barely two weeks the mother left the house. Now he's inviting me to go to the village with him. I don't see anything wrong with that. You yes. don't see anything wrong with that or you're just pretending? 
When did you were dead? You saw how everything happened. What are you saying? He invited you, not her. What's the difference? No, tell me, tell me, what is the difference? You know, no matter how hard he tried to make this guy look, he is still a mommy's boy. He is her son. I don't think that's the case. This guy in question doesn't want to do anything to hurt his mother. And he's equally going extra miles for you to be with you. And hopefully for his mother to approve of you. Approve? Excuse you? <laughs> Not like I'm his fiancé. <laughs> oh, because he hasn't proposed yet, right? Um, look, girlfriend, he has already told his mother about you. And it is you. So stop questioning every moment. Please. You know, I am not going to be that type of girl that fights for a man. I won't do it. As a matter of fact, I need something from him. He should give me something. Then allow him to. How? You have to go with him to the village. Who knows, it might be a test. A test? Here she goes again. Are you kidding me right now? I am in this relationship because I really like Lota. What's that? Not like I'm some jambite who wants to write some examination. What was the test doing? <laughs> oh, goodness. And that settles it. You have to go with him, be with him, and then open more channels for communication, especially with his mom. Who knows you might blow her mind while you're there. Mm -hmm. You really think I should embark on this trip? Should I help you pack your bags? It's not funny, please. She's inside last account. Ah. 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 Hi! No! Uh. No! <laughs> Good to see you, Mom. Thank you. You should have told me you were coming so that I'll prepare your favorites. No, Mother, I didn't want to stress you. You know, I hate to stress you. I know you'll be busy. <laughs> hey! Yes. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you finally hit to my advice to come and do the need for. Uh, no, mother, I was just just. Uh... It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're here to do the right thing. Mother, you don't understand. I I, I actually came back with my wife. Uh, greetings, mama. And you, what are you doing here? Eh? What are you doing in my house? Mother, she is here because she is with me. Oh, my daughter, you're welcome. Oh, you are here to witness the traditional marriage between my son and the woman I have chosen for him. Ah, you're welcome, my daughter. What, what sort of nonsense is that? Traditional marriage between who and who? Oh, sweetie, please, please don't, don't, don't listen to my mother. She's just, she, you are just joking, aren't you? What kind of thing is that? What, what, what is it? Um, wait, wait a minute. What traditional marriage is she talking about? Oh, you are actually here to witness my son's traditional marriage with his wife, the one I chose for him. You're very stubborn. You want to prove your stubbornness. It will happen in your very before. Tomorrow is the date. You will see it. You want to show me, eh? You will see. Stop. It will happen in your stop. very before. Stop. No, come back. Stop, mother. Our stop. Special stop. 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 Special stop. 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 Stop.
Do not worry about me. I'll find my way. Babe, babe. I don't think it's ideal for you to just walk away like that. You don't know anywhere around you could get hurt. Well, I don't care. I will find my way. Babe. It's not ideal for you to walk away. What if you get hurt? Tell me, why did you bring me down here? Well, I'm trying to see how I can synchronize you both. I mean, make sure you two get along just fine. Really? <sighs> Instead of you to tell me that you brought me down here for me to witness the blissful joining between you and the person she chose for you. Right? What are you talking about? My mother was lying. I, I, you should know who my mother is. She's just talking. It's you and no one else. You know what hurts the most? What hurts me the most is you lying to me. Not what your mother has been throwing at me. Because I can't be anything from her. Wait now. You and I know I cannot lie to you. I will never lie to you. I'm not going to do this with you. Just don't bother. I'll find my way. You don't seem to understand. I cannot let you go. Just come on with me. We can sort this out. I'm not coming back with you. Not to the house. Please. 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 Fine. I've heard you. But I wouldn't want any more embarrassment. I, I'll think I'm still thinking about it seriously. You again? You again? Didn't you leave again? Eh? What are you doing back in my house? Leave my son alone! Leave him alone! Enough! Huh? Are you talking to me like that? Of course I'm talking to you like that. Enough is enough. You've bitten more than you can chew. What is it? What has she done to you? Whitney is not any of those names you just mentioned. She doesn't have a problem. If there's anyone who has a problem here, that person is you! Me? You! You have all the problems here. Leave my son alone. Leave what? Leave my son alone! Leave my son alone! I don't want this girl in this house. I don't want her in this house. How? Oh, I can't see you. Mm. There's no way I will stay under the same roof with that witch. I will make this house very hot for you. Where is that boy? Where is that boy? Where is? Get our bags and bring them inside. I will frustrate her. Yes. I don't feel like crying away. I don't feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. Why have you chosen to ruin my personality? How do you mean, son? How have I insulted you or ruined your personality? I'm just coming from Uncle Amish's house. He told me all the lies that you said about me. What lies are you talking about, Lutana? What lies? Have I not been talking to you? As you have refused to listen to me, your mother. To listen to the voice of reasoning. Well, you left me with no choice than to involve the only family member I am sure you can listen to. Is it possible for us to keep calm and have this conversation? Oh, no way. No way, you lie. I am not having any conversation with you. As long as you still keep that thing in this house, we are not having any conversation. Take her back. Take her back. 
to wherever she came from. Then we can sit down and talk like mother and son. You know, when I look at you, I start looking for that Christian mother who is supposed to be meek. And that meekness of a Christian mother inside of me is the reason I am trying to prevent you from marrying with that public toilet. I take exceptions to that. Don't ever call her names again. You don't even know her. Yes, I don't know her. But I know her enough to know that she is not good for my son. See, there is no way I will ever allow you get married to that leftover of all these corrupt politicians. Well, let me break your heart. Uncle Amechi has given me his consent so I can go ahead and marry the woman of my choice, whether you like it or not. What? What? No way! Amechi cannot do that to me! Yes, Mom. Where do you think you're going? Ah, like I said, well, I need to take my beautiful here for sights, and she needs to know how beautiful our community is. Uh, if you'll excuse us, I'll see. Ah, are you this senseless? Huh? Lotanna, you should be ashamed of yourself. So you came to this village to disgrace me. Huh? Why are you like this? Do you have conscience at all? Have you thought about how Chim Diche will feel when, when she sees this madness of yours? So it's all about what Chim Diche would feel. Well, for your information, I am enjoying this madness, so leave me to enjoy it to the fullest. You hear me? Thank you. You are a fool. You are an idiot. Yes. of covering this, this nonsense you want to go and showcase. My law! <laughs> Easy, mama! <laughs> hey, you're welcome. You're oh, inside. Darling. How are you? Fine. Hey, Hello. fine girl. <laughs> you're inside, yes. dog. Yes. I'm just trying to get some little sleep. Hey, I am sorry. Oh. Had I known you were sleeping, I would have gone back and come. No, 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 no. There's no problem. Ah, there's no problem at all. You're welcome. Eh? Hogo. Eh? <laughs> uh, I heard your son is back. Yes. Is he home? Yes, he's around. Eh? But he's uh, sleeping. Hi, my son. Ah, ah. Yes. How are you? Ah, thank you. How are you? I'm good. This city is really looking nice on you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Actually, I would have loved to stay and talk, but we're heading out. Greetings, Mama. Mother, I'll see you soon. <laughs> See? Uh, I'll go with you. <laughs> Who is the girl with him? Oh, no. 
is a friend from his place of work. Oh. Uh, he told her about his trip. So she was enthusiastic and wanted to follow him. That's why they are here. <laughs> what are we doing outside, <laughs> my in-law? Let's go in now. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Mama, let's go and drink cold juice. Mm -hmm. What's that? What? Um, who was who? Don't even pick that dumb with me. You surely don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, they looked quite surprised seeing me. Um. That's Chimdiche's mother and the kid's sister. Oh! I see. Your wife and the mother, right? Mama! Mama, I am talking to you, Mama. I am talking to you. What you just did right now, did it make sense to you? And what makes you feel you have the right to ask me questions? Really? I asked you what you wanted to have for lunch. And I told you I am not interested. I didn't have a problem with you telling me that. But I want you to understand one thing. Why do you think you've got the ghost the temerity? The impetus to pour away the food I was making for Lotana and I. Why did you pour the food away? I need to understand it. What nonsense was that? Eh? It is you, your mother, your father, your entire family, in fact, all your generations. They are the nonsense. And let me tell you, you stupid, stinking girl, don't ever, this is your last warning, don't ever touch anything again in my house. No matter, I've had enough of your nonsense. I've had enough of your excess in this house. You have to watch it. There's a limit to what I can take from you. I need to understand it. Why are you unnecessarily pouring out your anger on me? Why? Why do you hate me so much? Unnecessary? Did you just say unnecessary? You bewitched my son. Turn his head against words of wisdom. Eh? And you're here and you're standing here telling me about liking you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. You don't even like yourself either. You don't! Mama. I do not know what exactly is your problem, you old woman. It's either refusal or denial. But let me tell you something, get it into your numb skull. That no matter what you do, you will never ever take Lota away from me. That's a promise. Bet me. How? Did you just talk to me like that? Huh? Is there any other living thing in this living room with us? How? Excuse me. How? You must leave my house today! Look at this prostitute! This useless girl! An abandoner and a witch like you! Look! You must leave my house, oh! You must leave my house! And for all your family and your relations put together! None of them can afford this kind of beautiful edifice! You must leave this house! Los Anna! Hey! There's no way I will have you in this house! You I thought it was only manners you don't have. But I can see that you have no respect at all. Doesn't look to me that your mother did much of a job. Enough! Enough of your shenanigans, madam. When I said it was enough, I meant every single word. You can insult me all you like. But don't you ever bring in my parents into this. Because they did a better job on me than your parents did on you. How dare you! How dare you what? That you had the right to run your mouth and I shouldn't run my mouth just because you're older than me? Who the hell do you think you are? You know, I really salute Lutana for enduring you. You are so annoying. If you were to be my mother, I would have this one long time ago, but I still look for a way to kill you. Hey! You see? I said it. Go ahead. Go ahead, say it! This is time for true confession! You are sure you are true call also! Madam, I am not deceiving your son. Rather, your son deceived me. He put me down to this place to be dealing with your appearing attitude. And did you think that your son always talk about how good and how kind you are? Does he even really know who his mother is? A devil in angel's clothing. Hey, to be surprise, I've learned you. Over the time you were in the city and over here, I know what you're capable of doing. 
you are the most annoying and appearing human being ever. You are so annoying. It is people like you that makes young girls to, to wish that their mother-in-law, in fact, is dead. Will you shut up? Oh, you should want to shut your mouth. Don't you dare tell me to shut my mouth. You are so annoying. Get that. Hey. 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 Oh. What is going on here? Hey. Man, I can, I can actually hear your voices from my house. What is happening? It just made you. It has happened. This girl is a killer. She just confessed. She wants to kill my son. She wants to kill me. If I possible, kill you. She just confessed now. Whitney, is it true? Which of the truth do you want to hear, sir? The, the, the truth. This woman had the cost to pour away my food. The food I was making for Lutana and I. Only give her a dose of her own medicine. You are mad! You are the one that is sick in the head. You are very mad! You are pathetic. You are psycho. Your intellectual quotient isn't working anymore. Look, I am not done with you. I am going to show you when you call me Angelica, Madam China! It's okay. I love you. It's okay. Look, you have not seen the last of me. You have not seen the last of me, oh! Witness, it's so, it's so clear that something happened here. There is an issue. Can you talk to me? I mean, can you brief me on what is going on? There is no way, there is no way I'm going to stay in this house with such an insolent girl. That will be all my dead body. It's not working. Can you, can you just calm down? Can you just calm down? It's here. Did you just hear that? Are you hearing this woman, this annoying woman? She is yeah. so annoying. Yeah. Can you, can you equally just tune it down? Stop <laughs> saying these things now. You can easily, easily, easily say something you would regret. I don't even care if I regret anything at this point of my life because this woman is so infuriating. You must leave my house. Moonwalk, infuriating. You are leaving the house today. Look, your witchcraft has failed. Your witchcraft has failed. That's what I've been dealing with. Can someone tell me what's going on here? Eh? What is going on is that she must she must leave my house today. Today, not tomorrow. She must leave my house. I cannot stay with such a stupid girl to insulting me in my own house. It's not done! Mother, Whitney cannot insult you. Eh? You heard me. What did you say? You heard me. I've known her for years now. She's not capable of insulting anyone, let alone my mother. Eh! So I am lying. I'm not lying. Your mother is lying. It's your baby. It's your baby here. Did you hear my son? He just called me a liar. Me a liar. It's your baby. For how many years you people married me to your family? Have you heard that Angel Angelica lied? Because of this thing! Can you come down? Because of this thing! Come down! Come down! Hey! Come on, come down! Hey, 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 shut up! Who are you? Shut up! Don't ever tell me to come down! Who are you to tell me that? You go! I am going! Better will come back! You know what? I don't want to see you in my house! I don't want to see you in this house today again! Today is your last day! Tomorrow, I don't want to see you! There! This is what I've been trying to solve all day. Find a way and handle this. You know, Luther, 
I am sick and tired of all this drama. Sir. It's all this nonsense. I am tired of it. Listen, if this is a test, you better keep the score to yourself because that woman that just left here right now is one woman that I do not want to ever chew with, ever in my life. I understand. I just said, what happened? Well, go to the kitchen and see it for yourself. Your mother had the guts to pour away the food I was making for you and I. Is anything wrong with that woman? I don't even understand how she became your mother in the first place. Because you guys are so opposite. You are so sweet and kind. Why she is one disgusting homo sapien uh, I've ever dealt with in my whole stop. life. Stop! Oh, I should stop! I should stop, right? Your mother has the guts to insult me, but I should not insult her back. I should not, I should not call her names. What do you think this is? Some soap opera where I get to be insulted and I, I don't have a word or I can't even say anything? Is that what you think this is? No. I understand how you feel. I know my mother. And I know she must have said some terrible things to you. But please, I need you to understand that we are talking about my mother. I here. don't give a damn about her. As a matter of fact, so hell with her. To the carcass of the abyss of hell. I don't even give a damn about her. You know what? I don't want to deal with this drama anymore. Oh, your mother has the guts to bring in my parents and my upbringing into this mother. And yet, I should not say a word because I am dating you, right? I'm done with this nonsense. You know me too well. I do not tolerate you rubbish from anyone. Enough of this nonsense. Excuse me, please. And why can't I make choice? What to do right now? And I feel like running away. I'm asking you know why. All she was trying to do was help you. Hmm? Like this? You started it. No, she started it. She is the one that started it. She went into my kitchen to cook. Who gave her the right? Huh? What infantry? And she also insulted me on top. Mama, this house is mine as it is yours. And so is my vestal, especially my girlfriend, Mama. Please, do you know why I built this house this big? So that everyone can be comfortable. Would you rather I stay in a hotel every time I come home? Oh no, but you now will always welcome you with open arms. To the extent they cut say to my girlfriend Whitney, it's not that difficult, Mama. Please, look beyond your anger as mother. That girl is a good girl. Good girl, my foot. She insulted me, threatened to kill me, and even you. Mama, please. You pushed her first. You were the one who went extreme. And what would you have her do? Stand there, look at you. Come on, Mama. There's a limit to what people can take. And that's just the kind of person she is. She's the kind of woman that will leave you in your time of crisis. Lutana, open your eyes. Open your eyes. And listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Save yourself from this doomed future you want to put yourself in. Lotanna! Lotanna! I am talking to you. You must leave this girl, though. Listen to the voice of the elders. Lota! I understand that was wrong. But come on, girl, you don't have to blame me. Why would she have to bring in my parents and my upbringing to this? She would have just faced me in woman to woman. So how is Lutana? I don't know. Babes. What? He should be somewhere, you know, buttering up his mother and all that. But babe. Nothing like that, babe. Listen, I've got my academic frustrations and dramas. I've got my parents always asking me for money even when they know I'm a student. Financially, I need to support them. And besides, I don't even think this is going to work. You don't know that. Well, I know one thing for sure. This is not going to work, definitely. I can't survive with that woman one more day in this house. If you were to marry, you'd be marrying the son, not her. Well, you've forgotten the evil saying that goes like this. When you're getting married to a family, you're not just getting married to the man, but the whole family. Alright, it's fine. 
sure everything's going to sit in well soon. Okay, I gotta go. Fine, no problem. Bye. <coughs> Already planning to run away? How much of my calls did they drop on? I mean, how much did you hear? Enough to understand that I might just wake up in the morning and not find you by my side. Listen, Luther. If at all we're going to break up, it's certainly not because of your mother. What would it be then? Is this sign? What is this sign? Are the gods finally ready to heal Omudani? I was, I was, I wasn't concentrating. You see, I was consumed by, by what you said about my mother, and that's, that's why I ran that girl over. Do you know what? From what just transpired back then, I believe you knew that girl before now. She was my mom's caregiver. She was incompetent, and, and then I fired her. Could this be the reason you ran her over? Because you believe she has to be killed? Or maybe you think because she's incompetent as a caregiver? If she reports what just happened, do you know you could lose your license? She just left. She just left. She understood that I was absent-minded. You that was there, you didn't know what you said to me. Are you going to be the one to report this case? Are you? Why do I have this feeling that you don't want to help yourself? Hmm? How do you mean? Bruv, you need to seek medical attention. No, I think something is seriously wrong with you. As a matter of fact, I think you need to stop driving. Because if you continue like this, you end up killing everybody. Maybe until your psychic normalizes because right now you all know yourself. Yeah, that's what I think. Maybe I should start by killing you if you don't step into this car. Some stupid driver was driving without looking, but don't worry. Mom. Hi! Hi! Mama, let me sit. Sit down, my daughter. Hi. Chimo. Bet you're supposed to go to the hospital. Look at your body. You're leaping. Eh? Mama. There's nothing wrong with me that my first aid boss here cannot handle. Please, don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Have you had something to eat? Oh, my poor puny. Is food more important than what's happened now? Mama. Eh? You worry too much. I've said I'm fine, I'll be fine. You don't have to worry about <sighs> me. Hey, talk on the Please, let me go inside and take care of myself. Hey! <sighs> it's okay, my daughter. Hey! 
Hey! All these drivers. I don't know why they are so careless. Eh? They want to kill my daughter for me. God forbid. Tell you something. Your husband to be came back with a woman. Are you stupid? Allow me to talk. Where is her? Who? She's very beautiful and tall, very fair. My own Lota. Sister, this girl. Where is my own Lota now? Yes, sister. My own Lota yes. with another woman. So what? Mm. No, we shall see. My Simba. own Lota. <laughs> Excuse me, can I help you? It depends. On what is that? On this! Are you mad? Did you just walk into this compound to, to slap me? Are you crazy? <laughs> Why are you telling to know who I am? Listen, I am Chim Diche. My name is Chim Diche. Rotana's wife. Yes! Look at you. I've heard lots of tales about you, and I swear by the gods I was praying, hoping that this was all room operated by people just to upset me. But now, it turns out to be true! You're even inside this house! Eh? <laughs> you walked into this compound to lay your hands on me? Are you crazy? Is something wrong with you? I am not stupid, girl. I am not stupid! Even the way you say his name with so much endowment tells me all I need to know. Are you just shameless? Eh? Is this how you city girls do? I mean, it's not enough that you follow him around the city, deceiving yourself that he's going to be yours. You have the gods. You have the gods to follow him down to this village. My own husband. Throwing yourself on my own, my, my own husband. Who does that? Tell me what. Are you crazy? Now take your shredded self out of this compound immediately. Get out! Did you just ask me that question? No, did you just ask me that? Your stupid wife and her idiotic friends just attacked me in your own house. And all you could do is ask me if I'm okay or not. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I think it's... I think it's just... Oh, please. You know every single thing you do. Look at you here looking all relaxed. Instead of you to look for your way to remedy this situation. What do you mean? Did you just ask me that question? What do I mean? Are you for real? Really? Rubbish.
That girl, she thinks she can come and steal my man. Hey, hey. She is joking. A big joker. You shut up your mouth. You still have your mouth to talk. You should be ashamed of yourself. Stupid girl. Look at you. An university undergraduate. Behaving like a, like a villain out. Fighting publicly. I'm ashamed of you. Hey. I still can't believe this. So what everyone in this village is saying is true. Lutana actually came back with a woman he wants to marry. And Angelica lied to me. Woman. <sighs> What is your concern now that Angelica lied to you? That is what you're talking about. Our daughter is coming from school. She did not get to the house. We went directly to somebody's house, beat up an innocent girl. And you're not saying anything about it. Now you stop it, Awanamishi. Hold it there. Don't tell me you're already sympathizing with that girl. She got what she deserves. She stole our daughter's husband. Get that. What did you say? Your daughter's husband. You know, uh, sometimes when you talk, I wonder whether you are the one talking or there's a cartoon beside you that is talking. Because you and uh, Angelica is, is having some nonsense arrangement. You think that automatically makes the song your daughter's husband wake up from your dream. That young man had never come here to declare his interest. What does that tell you? It tells me that. Angelica and her son are big liars. Very big liars. Mama, what Papa just said is right. Sister Jim Duche, it was so wrong of you to go to Madam Angelica's house and beat up a guest. It was so wrong. Holy, shut up! Mechipano, what do you know? What do you know? You don't know anything. All these years, I've been striving my best to become the perfect woman he desires. And what happens? He comes back to this village with another woman, as in what? They're not good enough. <laughs> Sister, you think I don't understand how disappointing it is to realize you're not the best or the exact option for what he wants? My friend, will you shut up? I say shut up! If you don't know what to say, just shut your mouth! But sis, will you shut up, Norma? Shut up! I'm shutting her up. I'm not going to show you here, fool. Chelo, it must be that wicked woman. She's here. Sit down! Don't go anywhere. Don't move. Sit down. Mama. Oh, Mom. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Were you hot? No, 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 I'm okay. Does Are she sure? look okay to you? No, tell me. Does she look okay? It's not okay that my once meek and calm daughter has finally turned into a mad dog that fights everyone and anywhere. Mama, will you shut up? Shut up! Is this woman's fault? Because of her lies that her son is so much interested in marrying you. That is what that has wrecked you like this. Mama, I'm not wrecked. I'm not wrecked. I'm fine. I'm fine now. Look at me. And Madam Angelica has done nothing wrong. Have you really not done something wrong? Just because you lied about the match with her for your son. Did you not, Angelica? Is he? Is he one, Mama? Is he one name? Please calm down. See, whatever this is all about, I believe we can resolve it amicably as one big happy family. Happy family. Listen to me. Listen to me, Angelica. There is nothing to resolve amicably. It will not happen. Because I've said it from the beginning, since your son did not come here to declare his interest in marrying my daughter, I don't recognize whatever arrangement you and Ezime have been making. Ezime, have you seen it? I warned you, but you will not listen. Help, Nanya Dibe. Nanya Dibe. Ezime, Mama. Biko, please. Ibu should just. Oh, see, this thing I'm going to say now, eh? This thing I'm going to say now, Ibu should believe me. Lotana, my son. Is going to marry your daughter. Another big lie! Love who? Huh? No, you tell me, love who? This Angelica? Yes, yes. Alright, everybody, good. Now let me make this clear. Now, Chinimcho, whatever you call yourself, listen and listen. I don't know the best that you have with my mother. I don't know the promises she's giving you. One thing is certain. I will never marry you. You hear me? Obim. If you say that word again, if I hear Obim from you, who is your Obim? 
I'm asking you, who is your own blame? Now you go. Say one more word. Let's talk now. Come, please. Go back to the hospital. Conduct whatever heart transplant. It doesn't concern me. Not this. Even in my next life, I will not hey, marry you. Lieutenant, will you stop talking to your wife like that? Brother, the only reason I'm giving you all this respect is because you're my mother. Let this end now. I will not marry this no. witch nonsense. No, no. L L Mama, Luther. have you seen it? Bravo. Have you seen it? Jim DJ, have you seen the embarrassment and shame you're causing the family? Isn't it? Carrying goose up and down. Dancing. Have you seen it? Uh-huh. Uh, but but don't, don't, don't be animal progress, you went to where I should be. Have one of you seen it now? Mama. Have you seen it? Nobody will listen to me. Mama, huh? he's lying, right? Of course. My son is lying. See, he's, he's, he's not in his right state of mind. You see, you see that stupid girl in my house, eh? He, she has torn! Angelica! Get out of my house this minute. Mama. Get out! Mama. 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 Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Liar! Mama, stop! I said get out! Are you still here? Look, please, don't say anything or do anything, please. You might say something that you will regret. Babes, look, you, you need to calm down. Just, just calm down, please. All right, come home, so we'll talk. Trust me, when you come home, you'll be fine. Hmm? I said so long to do this. Please, wait me. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, don't say no. But now, do not complicate the whole issue. We already know where we stand. This is not going to work. Yes. Don't say no. If you ever find the woman of your destiny, make sure you fight for her more than you ever fought for me. foolish has gone. Now, my son is free. I don't feel like crying away. I don't feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. I feel like crying away. Like away. Like away. Like away. Oh, oh, Babe, you've had enough of this. You need to stop taking this alcohol. Please, you're hurting yourself. Just let me soak myself in this. This is the only thing that can console me. Gosh, I miss Lota so much. I know. 
You need to come to terms with reality. You know, babe, I'm, I'm really thinking about a whole lot. How do I live without Luta? The fact that I'm a student today, it's him. My friends, my family, they all hope on me, the bills. How am I supposed to cope with all that? That's why I said, you need to come to terms with reality. It has ended. That is the problem. The fact that it has ended is driving me nuts. If you knew, you would have taken some time. I tried. But his mother was making everything so impossible for me. You should have thought of all of that. Look. Next year, we are going to be in final year. And now, he's not going to be in the picture. So what are you going to do about your school fees? And this comfortable house, you need to pay the rent. What are you going to do? <sighs> this is more reason why I was condoning his mother's excesses. You know, I gave all of me. Yet I couldn't feel a fracture of his love. I couldn't. He's a good man. And I think he deserves better. And you deserve better too. Don't worry. You're going to get a good man that will love you with everything. Please. Till then, I need to soak myself in this accord. forever. Will I ever forgive myself if that happens? That the food I served you since last night is still there. You haven't even touched it. Why should I open it? I thought I told you I had no appetite, but you insisted. I insisted because you haven't eaten well for some days now. I noticed, so I took my time to prepare that precious meal you just wasted. Mother, I made it very clear to you that I have no appetite, that I do not want to eat. But you kept bothering yourself. How is it my fault now? My son, please, don't do this to yourself. Look, you need to eat to be healthy. Look, you can't walk with an empty stomach. 
I understand how hectic and demanding your job can be. You do? Yes, my son. What of advice from me to your mother? Do not do anything, do not cook until I ask you to. Why are you doing this to yourself? Eh? Is it because of women? Is it because of that stupid no, man? I'm gonna stop! Complete that statement and I will have serious problem with you. What is it? My project will soon be done so that I can leave this hell hole you call home. And then you will be left alone. Lutana, you can't do this to yourself. You can't kill yourself over a woman. Ah, be wise. Lutana, be wise. I don't know where she is. Any problem? No problem. Just that I want her to take this money. This is my burial living money from Ammonica to Doka. But I can't find her anywhere in the house. Or did she tell you where she was going to? Mama, I don't know, but her friend Onye came back yesterday. So probably she will be there. Are you sure? Mama, I'm not sure. I just said probably that may be. And you know, I don't follow my sister anywhere or wherever she goes to. This girl. I've always told her to tell you where she's going to anytime she's leaving this house. Chimdiche will not kill me. Well, yeah, take this money to Udoka. Mama, Mama, you, you have to leave this money till Chimdiche comes back home. She'll go and do that for you because me, I'm very tired now. My whole body is paining me. No, ma. Don't let me say that thunder will fire you. You know I cannot say that, but don't let me say it. Take this money. Mama, you have already said it. The thunder will fire me and this your mom. Make sure you come back now. Amo. <laughs> mama the mama. <laughs> Madam China has some. It's me. The one and only stainless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big energy. Yes, sir. So. <laughs> you said you would do it. And you actually did. I am so, so, so happy. I am to the fair. <laughs> Thank you. Who wouldn't be? Mm. Your greatest hurdle has been taken off. Thank you so much, Mama. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. Ah. But, um, um, Jim DJ, that doesn't end there. That the girl has left him does not mean he will start liking you immediately. Um, but Mama, you said um, she was the reason he wasn't looking my way. Now that she's out of the picture, I think he will start liking me. Why are you talking like a child? Must I teach you everything? Huh? This is the time you need to work to win his heart. Look, everything is hard work. Um, Mama, how do I do that? Why are you asking this kind of question? Jim DJ, you're already in the university. As a matter of fact, you'll be graduating soon. What are the ways and the method that young girls like you use in winning the heart of their men? Ah, you're right. Hmm? Um, I will come up with something. Of course. But you still have to help me. Of course. I am here for you. You can always count on me any day, any time. Just put the action and set it in motion. Then leave the rest of the work. But whatever you want to do, you have to hurry up. Yes, be fast about it because you'll be leaving soon. And you know with everything that has happened recently, he might not even allow me to enter his house again. At least for a while. Uh, that means we don't have much time. Oh. In that case, we need to hurry. Hurry, oh, oh, oh. Mama, you see this mission? 
I must complete it. I must win. This one, I will never fail. Of course. All these villagers that are running their mouths, I will show all of them that indeed, I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Now you're talking. Yes, so. Now you're sounding like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> choice. Precious choice. Yes, so. My investment. Yes, so. Mama, tell me that. Mama, tell me that. What? Are you stupid to ask me that? I said, what are you wearing? Mama, what is wrong with what I'm wearing? I see. This is the trending fashion in school now, right now. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Trending fashion when you're not comfortable with it. And you're not doya, not dirty. Mama, I'm comfortable. Very, very comfortable. No, you should have gone out with pants. Go and wear pants so that I'll know you've completely gone mad. Not knowing whom to follow But something inside of me is keeping me silent Ooh. Who is this guy now? Eh? This is the second time I'm sweeping this compound I bet you should go and come back ah, My waist is even paining me What are you doing here? Sweep it. Oh, um, I'm just helping Mama out with some house chores, just like the old days. <laughs> You're just helping my mother with the house chores, just like old days. Yeah. Mama, you're back. Mother, I have someone I employ to sweep the company and do all the house chores for you. Someone who is on my payroll, someone who is directly instructed by me to be credited every month for that. I have been receiving debit alerts showing that the person is always paid. What is she doing here? Oh, that. The cleaner's child is having some medical problems. So she's been running around for it. Ah, my son. Did you notice how bad this whole compound was? My dear daughter, Chim DJ, came visiting and saw how messed up the whole compound was. And from the depth of her heart, she volunteered to help out like she has always been doing. And you said yes. Uh -uh. Was I supposed to say no? You see, Chim DJ is a very good girl. Very good girl who doesn't turn down house chores. See, just go in and freshen up so that you will enjoy the delicious breakfast she just prepared. This girl is good, beautiful, <laughs> homely, hard work. <laughs> you will like it. Yes, you will love it. <laughs> and you're smiling. <laughs> Wonderful smile. Mother, hmm? I'd like you to put a culture of the person I employ to always sweep the compound and do all the chores for you. Okay, that one is not a problem. I'll do that. Oh, I'll tell her I want to have a meeting with her. Okay, okay. I will. 
we like the food. <laughs> I know you are rejecting this money because you feel I'm a stranger and you know with the happenings going on in the country right now everyone is trying to be careful. I am not even thinking in that direction my son. I entered your car and you brought me home. If I am seeing you as a stranger I would not have entered your car. I understand ma. But I offered you this ride because I feel you need it. As the one handling the Ultra modern Umoma General Hospital. I've seen cases, and I feel you should not be exposed to such suffering. Mm. You have allowed me to offer you this ride home. Please, Ma, make my day by accepting this token of mine. Hey, if you insist, my son. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yay! My daughter. Hey! What are you doing with my mother? I hope you've not run her over. I don't understand. Is she? Is, is, is she your mother? Hey! Adam, please help me and thank you. He's a good man. He saw me trekking under the sun and he volunteered to give me a ride. Hey! I am speechless. God. Chimdiche, as it appears, he's not buying any of the things you're doing. Don't you think it is right for you to leave? <laughs> and that's what mean I've failed. See, Onye, I have never failed before. And it won't start now. I'm not saying you should give up. All I'm saying is that you should stop making yourself too available for this guy. Yes, see girl, when you are scarce, you will be the one coming to bed. <laughs> you see this your theory? It doesn't work in all men. There are men you will leave all in the name of making yourself scarce. And they will forget you permanently. <laughs> I believe you trust me, right? Chimdichi, I would not deceive you. Stop throwing yourself at this guy. If he truly loves you, he would come. Thank you for what you did for my mother. I am grateful. So grateful? And yet you act like you don't want to be in this space? Should I be? Listen, I, I know you don't like me, but why is it so? What are you even talking about? <sighs> you, of course you know what I'm talking about. You are, you are avoiding me. I mean, every time I come to see Dr. Izamaka at your office, you, it's very glaring that you are avoiding me. And then you work for my mother. Whenever I come home, I don't seem to meet you. It feels like you are... It feels like you don't want our paths to cross and if that's not hatred, what else do we call it? I don't hate you, Mr. Okudile. 
all this hatred, you avoiding me, is it because I laid you off? I've been put out of my job before. It wasn't the first time. Then there must be something that warrants this dislike, or should I call it hatred? Tell me, what is it? What is it that you and I can put away? You fired me over the phone for something I had absolutely no control over. Do you realize what your decision would have cost my mother and I had your mom not hired me back? I had debts, okay? And it was really, really difficult the first few weeks. I get to treasure your mother over everything else. But you can't have the whole world running to respond to you at every time. We have our own lives to live. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. It's just that I was caught up in between situations that I could not handle. And then I tried to remedy things by trying to hire you back but you don't seem to respond and you expected me to leave my mother here in the village all by herself i just said i'm sorry so does that mean i have my job back with your mother if i was going to call you out on it i would have done that a long time I'll be heading back to the city in a few days and I'd want you to know that you feel free, go home, relax, you have your job back. Once again, I am truly sorry. Thank you, Mr. Okudili. Wait a minute, has he got into this? My mother left you in this house all by yourself? What are you doing here? Um, you see, I waited for you and your... <laughs> your mom wanted me to cook something nice for you. So I felt it's, you know, better for me to wait and know exactly what you want. And trust me, I have exactly what it takes to get it ready in no time. Wait a minute. The easiest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That's what they keep saying. And in your stupidity, you believe that works for all men? See, you never know what you're missing in me until you listen up. You should take your hands off me. Chimney or whatever you call you, stop! I can't possibly stop. I can't stop because my life is caged in yours. No. Fallacy! Your life is not caged in mine. You will have your own life just like I have mine. They have nothing in common. Listen, I came back home to watch soccer that will be coming up any moment from now. I don't want to go upstairs and come back and meet you here. I might not just be this nice. And you get your filthy hands off me! From watching soccer, my baby has slept off here.
get you. What is it? What are you trying to do? What's the meaning of this? What are you trying to do? Now let this be the first and the last time you make such attempt. Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? Look, um, Luther, your mom is fast asleep. We can just have something. You can have something in your wildest dreams. Look at her. Don't ever try this again. You hear me? What? Luther. If you talk, you see what I'll do to you. Just, just try you like get just... your filthy hands off me. Luther, we really? Get her. The next time you try this, you see what I'll do to you. You just shamed of yourself. You just said now. Hope you didn't form this to destroy my daughter's image. Take a good look at me. Do I look jobless? Do I look like one of those men that derive pleasure reading other people's image? Well, I'm not that kind of person. Jim Diche, the supposedly wife material, came here to seduce me. I know exactly what that will do to our image if it gets out there. But I'm not that kind of person. I just want you to know that this will not work. <clears throat> Thank you, Lieutenant and my son. Thank you for not broadcasting this. You are indeed a man. Jill, man, are you leaving? What do you expect? You want me to sit down here and listen to whatever you want to say to him? The young man has a clear idea of who he wants to marry. And our daughter is not the one. Exactly. But that doesn't mean your daughter is not a good girl. That doesn't mean she's not beautiful or she's not a wife to behold. It's just that nothing has triggered us to be together. My mother's been the one maneuvering everybody, manipulating everybody, trying to make this work by all means. But I want to say this here for the very last time. I want this to end here and now. Thank you very much, Dalorin. Are you saying you have not mentioned this to anyone? No, I haven't. And only to my mother, who happens to be nonchalant about the whole thing. How sure am I she wasn't the one who cooked this up? Um, where is your mother? She's your friend. You know her room. She's up there. Feel free to go talk with her. Weekend. So that you can continue more schemes, isn't it? Mother, I have a new management team I need to work with as we speak. They urgently require my attention. I have to go. Okay, 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 fine. Mm. There's no problem. But when again are you coming to see me? Or oh, don't you have any plans to come and see me at all? I don't know. But I'll see you when I see you. But one thing is certain, I've instructed my account officer to credit you money that will last you for at least six months, whether you go to the shop or not. So for now, Lotana, Lotana, please now, you can't do this to me. Lotana, it's me, your mother, please now. Please, my son. Lotana, please. Mother, I don't have a problem with you. I just have to go for business. I'll leave you to your own word. It's I'll obvious see you when I see you. I still have a problem. Lotana, be concerned. No, 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 Lotana, Lotana. Lotana, be concerned. No, 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 Feel like rain away Feel like rain away Feel like running away I feel like running away It's like I'm left in the middle of nothing 
Could it be that I'm cut out just for some reasons? Oh, not knowing whom to follow. But something inside of me is keeping me silent. And why can't I make choice whom to stick to? And why can't I make choice of what to do right now? And if you like to so I think you have a text message on your phone. What? What is it? Ah! Babes! Is this not six zeros I'm seeing? I mean, my eyes are deceived me so. Oh my god! This is three million naira! Babes! Wait, wait, let me check. Who sent it? Lutana! Ah! Oh! Babes, you're not saying anything! Look! you expect me to say? I am speechless. I am sure he made a mistake and I'm going to be talking to him. No, 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 no. You are not going to call him. Not at all. Um, you want to say, hello, ex, you mistakenly transferred a whooping sum of three million naira into my account. For what now? Why? Why would you want to call him? Huh? He's calling me. <laughs> Don't pick up. Don't try it. Let's go and pack our things. This is God blessing you in disguise. I mean it. No, I have to. Do not go. Peace. Yeah, hello? Oh. Hello. Um, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Is it possible for us to meet, sit, and talk? Mm -hmm. This is something we have to get used to, Luta. Let's stop breaking our hearts. You're a good man and you deserve better. What are you talking about? You're equally a good woman and then you deserve better too. You deserve a man who truly loves you, a man who will take care of you, a man that will, that will be genuine. I'm sorry for everything. Um, I saw an alert from you. I think you made a mistake and I would like to return the money. Don't even. You don't have to do that. I sent the money deliberately, you know. I am not trying to buy your way off or something, but I just remember we talked. It's just so that you can start up a handwork and then you remember your school fees is that house rent. You really have to start doing something. You didn't have to. Oh, come on. I just want you to be happy. Be happy too. <sighs> ha! God, when? I get settled with this kind of relationship. This is a serious relationship settlement too. Babe, you're lucky. I don't feel like no, now. and tell him you are here. That means you have not been listening to me. I told you that I called James and said today that he hasn't picked his calls. Right. See, that is why I brought you in. Eh? That is why I brought you in. He's, he's your friend. You're very close to him. Just go to his room. Go, go there and 
Check if he's fine. You know he's moving. Hey, boss. Thank God you're fine. I was very, very worried. Very worried, boss. Thank God you're fine. It's all right, it's all right. Go back to your duty, boss. Okay, sir. Sean! <laughs> Yeah, good to know you're alive. Why were you not picking your calls? Why are you sounding so worried? At first, my wife was freaking out. You weren't picking your calls or replying your messages either. To crown it all, Zebedee told us that since you came back from the village, that you have not been out of your room. My wife practically pushed me here to make sure that you don't carry out any stupid acts. I had lots of work to do before I traveled. Tied up. So I needed to take out time, you know, focus and get all of them all done. That's it. But good to know, you don't need to scare us, please. I mean, it's not funny, Lotanna. Hold on a minute, Chima. What were you thinking? That I killed myself? Suicide? Is that it? <laughs> Not after when I won the contract uh, with uh, Pure Labels, 2.6 billion naira. <laughs> well, exactly what I told your housekeeper, Zebedee. That nobody wins 2.6 billion naira contract and ends up killing himself because of a woman. So, how are you both doing? Well, I don't know how she is, but when I got back, I tried to reach out. You know, I just feel she needs time to heal, so that's where we are. See, you missed an angel in that baby. I can't let a woman like that walk away if I were in. Ah, 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 ah. Shima, please, please. We've been through this before. Let's not talk about this again. Please. I understand why you did what you did. I wouldn't put myself in a self-pity part marriage just to be a good guy. You did the right thing, man. And I hope you get what you're looking for. Well, all that concerns me now is to look for that person connected to my father. How? Someone connected to your father? I mean, what does that mean? Fixed you something. You need to eat so you can get yourself. You're not planning on killing yourself, are you? I don't want to eat anything. My son is not talking to me. The last time he spoke to me was last week before he traveled back to the city. My son hates me. He hates me. Of course not, Mama. He doesn't hate you. I mean, he can never hate you. You are his mother. You may have made one or two wrong decisions for him, but that's not reason enough for him to hate you. He's just hot. Please, come and eat. I know. Look, I don't want him to marry any of those city girls who absolutely has nothing to offer. <sighs> Mama, yet brushing some girl up for your son to marry in this 21st century doesn't sit all that well. I need you to understand that. Look, all that I'm doing it's for his own good. It's for his own good. Nukiro, I want you to call him. I'm sure he will pick your call. Yes, he will even talk to you. Now, you now tell him that I am seriously sick. That my blood pressure has hiked. That 
I'm in the hospital. Yes, see, take me to the hospital. Then you now tell him that your mother is seriously sick and has been rushed to the hospital. Yes, Mama. There won't be any need for all of that because you are clearly okay. And I might lose my license if it leaks. And how is it going to leak? How is it going to leak? See, I'll pretend to be seriously sick. I'll close my eyes and I'll stop talking. Yes. You even tell him to put oxygen. Yes, and drip. They'll put oxygen, they'll put drip, put blood. Yes. And some of those doctors will start injecting you with lots of medicine to treat a sickness that is not even there. Mama, please, let's not follow this pattern. I am going to call your son, but I'm just going to tell him what he needs to know. Please, Mama, just come and eat. I beg you. I don't want to eat anything. I don't have appetite. Mama, I made your favorite. I made this food specially for you. You will like it. Please come and eat. I am going to call your son, okay? But for now, eat, please. I said I don't want to eat. Is it by force? I am not eating anything. Mama, it's a kiru. Eh? Come and eat now. I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? It's your young. Uh -huh. What do you make of this? Ichi, what I make of this is not as important as going to Ezeke to get the meaning of the message of God. The message is clear. The gods are finally speaking. And that is where I have a problem. But let me ask. How are we going to ascertain the validity of what he is telling us? Ichi, we are talking about the priest of Omudiane here. Huh? Let us go to him and hear what he has to say. <laughs> now, what if he has been deceiving us all this while? What if he has been the one who deliberately decided on his own not to name any king? Hmm. It's here. A man who ministers to a deity wouldn't do that. He failed to name a king because the staff of Umudiane was nowhere to be found. The staff was believed to have been retrieved by the gods. Now he's saying that there is a hope of finding it. Why don't we go to him, listen to him, and hear what he has to say? Mm. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Let us go. That's okay. Uh, uh, who invites you? He's much more wiser than you. Oh, that's Sophomodiani Kingdom. It might sound somehow to you. Because you thought and believed that the gods have turned their backs against you. And of course they did. Yes, because of the atrocities of one man. Atrocities that we have all dearly paid for. Why now that everything has gone the wrong way and we have managed to live through the hell? Why now are they finally speaking out? No one dictates for the gods. No matter whatsoever. Questions the gods. I, as the priest of Modiani Kingdom, I will tell you this straight to your face. That nothing happens by accident. Nothing happens by accident. Everything has been ordained psychically before the physical manifestation. Whatsoever that is happening in this kingdom now is not by accident. The gods are aware of whatever the kingdom is passing through. Maybe, maybe a new dawn 
will shine once again upon the people of Modiana Kingdom. Ichezike, please, can you lead us into the issue without wasting so much time? As you can see, people are already reading meanings into your long silence. You. And the chair head of my, I will tell it to you, to your first threat, that you were the very one that led the group, the first group that misunderstood, that read the first meaning against the truth, the glaring truth. The man of this kingdom resisted crowning a king the wrong way. And that man was killed by those who wanted to hide the truth. And you are not left out. The results that the offer was withdrawn for the people of Modiani Kingdom. And now that the offer is finally here, the process of finding the chosen one starts now. He sounded as one who knows too much. And you are supposed to know that he's in a position to know much. We are talking about the priest of Umudiani. <laughs> so who is this man of Umudiani that was murdered for resisting a wrong process? Ikie, we cannot speculate on something like pinpointing a murderer. It's not easy. Thank God the priest is speaking out now. We shall know in due time. <laughs> yes. Mm. Let's go. Ichi Ezike, do you know why I stayed back? Because, as you know of this woman there in the kingdom, I want to get to the root of what you said. Who is the man that was killed? Oh no. The breadfruit falls at its appropriate time. That revelation will come naturally. What we need now is to find him. Find who? The bearer of the sacred pendant. That pendant will lead us to yet another pendant. The replica of the original. And the coming together of both pendants will lead us to the discovery of the missing offer. Then the manifestation of the missing offer finally will provide us a king. And that king will initiate the healing that we need in the modern kingdom. Everything I did to have this gun, belittling myself, answering that wicked witch of a woman at her beck and call, doing everything for her, this is it. I've now become the talk of the town. The girl who was abandoned by her betrothed. My fellow girls make mockery of me. Mothers are now using me as reference for their daughters. Men of this community are looking down on me because I look down on them first. How could Lothar do this to me? How? I am beautiful. I've been to school and I've learned how to make myself sophisticated. What is it that he wants in a woman that I don't have? Huh? What? No, I will not let this go. I must have Lotanna. Wait for me, Angelica. After I have made my way into your home, I will put you 
where you should be. This man, why is he not answering his calls? Are you suspecting anything? Anything at all? I don't get it, Mama. I mean, he's angry. Very angry. That is understandable. But it's over a month now. Shouldn't he be worried about his mother and her health? I am sure you know he, he has Dr. Eze Amaka's contacts. Eh? How can I Jamaica near now? The more reason I didn't buy into her suggestion would have been a disaster with Dr. Eze Amaka in the picture. I am lost here. What are you talking about? Mama, I don't know why most mothers have refused to admit the fact that their, 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 their kids have become men. I mean... <laughs> You see, my daughter, I don't want to go into all that. Eh? Go in and eat your food. Be gone. You know, go. I am surprised at this meeting. I was expecting you to call my son and tell him that I have given up. Angelica, I don't understand myself what you mean by I have given up. Now, are you possibly telling us that you are planning to take your life because you failed in your quest to force a wife on your son? Is that what you are saying? Ichi, please call my son. Tell him to come back. Because I know if I go, he won't receive me well. Enough of all this. Enough, Angelica. Enough of this. We are here in search of that one who is in possession of the sacred pendant. The one who has that sacred pendant. That pendant will show us the way. What does that mean? Uh. Let me explain. <coughs> Based on what we now know, the pendant will lead us to the offer. Offer for Modiani. Yes. Well, I have no business with any pendant. Hmm. The pendant in question is with your son, Lutan. He is in possession of the sacred pendant. So, stop all this. We need him. What? God, I don't understand any of this. My son does not have any pendant. In fact, he has not won any all his life. Mm. The bearer of that sacred pendant will lead us to its replica. The replica of that same pendant. And the restoration of the great Sumudiana kingdom will never, never be complete without those pendants. So, we are pleading with you to help us. This is an old problem. But now that we are seeing a solution, help us with it.
My son, there is no time to answer all of your questions. But I need you to understand that mortals are always in danger. But for the one who has identified with his gods, cannot be consumed without the approval of the gods. I don't understand, father. I am sorry, my son, that I will have to leave you. But I always want you to remember that whatever happens, it was for the greater good. What's this, Father? Safeguard this. Protect it with the whole of your life. Wherever you are relocating to, relocate with it. The time will surely come, my son. The time for the great restoration. Without you, the restoration can never happen. Protect her, Lotana. Who, oh, Father? In due time, my son, you will understand. I want you to know that from now on, you are the key. Protect it, Lotana. Father who? The gods will reveal womb at the right time. You will know her when you see her, my son. She is going to have a replica of the gift. She is the one. Do not decide for any until you have seen her. Be brave, my son. You are the you are descendant, descendant of warriors, of warriors and, nothing and nothing will happen, happen to you. To you. Hello? There are two instances you'll be calling my phone incessantly. One, my mother is not feeling well and is beginning to affect her health. Two, she's been rushed to the clinic and demands to speak with me. Let me guess. Trust me, I wouldn't be doing this either if your mother doesn't have me on the neck right now, demanding to speak with you. Alright, tell her I'll call her. Call her now. I'm heading to her house and she's in a very bad shape. That bad? You are still asking questions. Let's listen again. I'd like you to know that I know my mother very well, more than anyone in this world. I know she would do anything, she'll put up any show to get what she wants. Listen. I'm not in a good mood till I'll see her when I see her. I understand. You do? I was there most of the time. Sir. I understand you are hurting. And you have every reason to be. I mean, it's not easy to lose someone you love over your mother's persistence. But that's no reason enough for you to turn your back on your mother. I think she understands now what she did and wants to apologize. If only you can call her and let her explain you will understand her own perspective. Please, I beg you, your mother needs you. Please. All right, I'll think about it. You sure you will? Thank you. I'd, I'd like you to do something very important for me. Anything, sir. Keep an eye on my mom. Please take care of her. I will. But please, how long will it take you to forgive your mother? Um, thank you. I have an incoming call. Do what I ask you to do. And for now, it's bye. Can you hang up so I can take the call coming in? Okay, sir. Thank you. Hello, uncle. What has my mother said this time? I am not calling on behalf of your mother, Alotana. Then what? There is a matter of urgency that needs you. Immediate attention. You must come home latest tomorrow. Ugh, uncle, you don't think I should have an idea of the reason you are asking for my urgent attention? It is of great importance. Something that has to do with our existence as a people. I need you back tomorrow. All right. But I'm not promising. I'll, I'll think about it and if I'll make the trip, I'll let you know. Right, feel like running away. I feel like running away. I feel like running away. I feel like running away. Ulutana, you really need to calm down. You have to understand that this is a very serious issue. This man here is the only who of this kingdom, and the main fact that this meeting is holding in my house should make you understand that it is actually very, very, very serious. Calm down and listen to him. All right. 
Oh, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to understand one single thing. How can I be in possession of something that belongs to all? Uh, what did you call it again? The sacred pendant. It is connected to events of many years ago. It has been traced to you and we need you to help us. Same thing I'm saying. How can... Uh, Uncle, no, make me understand. I need to be clear on this matter. How can I be involved with something that happens many years ago? How? It's tradition. The chief priest of Umudiani, Ichi Ezike, was blunt. It was handed over to you with specific instructions. If you tax your thought, you will remember. Well, that's the problem here. I can't remember anything. Aside the fact that my father was slaughtered many years ago and the nightmare just wouldn't leave my head. Why would you be asking me that? Um, your hunger is justified in now. Very justified. And I won't blame you if you decide not to help. But please, just think about this. For the first time in 20 years, the ghosts of Umudiani have lifted the curse from us and turned their faces again towards us to restore the peace and order we have lost. Exactly. But first of all, we have to restore the royal authority this kingdom lost for many years. You're getting me confused. You both are getting me confused the more. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I respect the fact that you're telling me this. I appreciate it. But I just want to let you know that I'm a businessman. I do not have anything to do with all this sacred, tradition, native, all these things. I'm, I'm not interested. I don't know how I got involved in this. Your involvement is not by choice, neither by force. It has a link to your father. And as we now know, he prepared you for what is happening now. I need you to think about this. Exactly. You really need to think about this. It is very important. Welcome, Mr. Akudili. Thank you. I must say I'm grateful. Thank you for the way you've been taking care of my mom. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just doing my job. But I must say you're doing a great job. Okay. You're welcome, my son. Um, Mama, I have to leave now. Lieutenant, why are you embarrassing the poor girl? Minister Akudili, what's going on? I mean, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I am sorry. I'm sorry I'm dressed like this. That's because I wasn't expecting to see you here. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Why did you get this? 
what? It's mine. It's yours. Yes, I've had this since I was a child. Are you missing something? Uh, Lutana, why are you interrogating the poor girl? Is anything the matter? The gods will reveal room at the right time. You will know her when you see her, my son. She is going to have a replica of the gift. She is the one. Do not decide for any until you have seen her. Be brave, my son. You are the you are descendant, descendant of warriors, warriors and nothing will have her to you. I oh, have seen this before. Lotana. What exactly is going on here? Do you mind telling me what this is all about? How could she be in front of me all these years? Yet I did not recognize her. Lutana, you are not making any sense at all. What is it now? Can you tell me what is going on? Told me. He said I would meet her at the appointed time. That our paths will cross. That I will see now all I want in a woman. Calmness. Beauty. Peace of mind. The one who would have the replica of my gift. The pendant. Lotana, this is a joke. Lotana, this is a joke, right? No. No, Maud, it's not. You're joking. I am not joking. This is real, mother. I can disobey all men. But I cannot disobey my father. Ogadigwe. Son of great. Ogadigwe. Mama, I thought you had slept. I was going to my daughter, but when I checked your room, you were not there. So I decided to check on you. What is it, my daughter? Can they fall me? Nothing, Mama. I'm fine. Are you sure, my daughter? Because you have been like this since you came back from work. Get it for Honestly, Mama, I don't even understand it myself. I mean, I think there is a mistake somewhere. Get it for This. I have had this for the longest that I can remember. And I've always told myself that this was father's. But what I don't know is how I actually ended up with it. But you told me that your father gave it to you. So what else do you want to know? Because I have to. I deserve to know. Hmm. I mean, I can't remember much from my childhood. Each time I try to recall, everything becomes very blur. Mama, is there something you know? I mean, anything, something about my late father and how, how he... Something, anything. I have told you to stop asking me questions concerning your late father. I've warned you several times to stop, stop asking me questions about it. I don't know anything about it. But you are too stubborn. I'm not being stubborn. I'm only asking questions. Enough! It's like I'm left in the middle of nothing. 
Could it be the ram cut off just for some reasons? Oh. Honestly, mother, you surprise me with this high level of hostility. I mean, this is still me, Nkiru, your caregiver. What did I do wrong? A very big fool to have asked me that kind of question. Oh, do you think I am one of those people you can teleguide me to a witchcraft? Huh? Me? Teleguide people with my witchcraft? How? Did Dr. Asa Maka not inform you that your services are no longer required here? I am sorry, ma, but I didn't get any of such directives. But if I may ask, what you are you asking me? Are you asking me? Pretender! You bewitched my son! And here, you are pretending to be innocent! Really? I honestly do not know what you're talking about, ma. Oh, shut up. Shut up! Look, I know your type. I know your type. But I tell you what, it won't work. Never! You will not! You cannot! I will never! My son, never marriage. What are you talking about? Oh, shut up. Get out of my house. Get out! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? What is what? Now listen to me. I will not be alive and watch you bring shame to this family. Get out of my house. Mother, is there anyone Ouch! you need to scold if there's any way? If there's anyone you need to scold, it's me. You know that, right? Ikiru! Ikiru! Nonsense! Ikiru! Ikiru! Ikiru, wait, wait! Come on, wait, please! What? What is it? You think I, I, I rear witches in my home? Is that what you think? You will not marry my son! Nonsense! I know you're angry, but can, can you just... Mr. Okudeli, what is this? A marriage with who? I mean, on whose permission were you spreading those rumors? Who the hell do you think you are? Was... Are you trying to take my job away from me? No, I am not trying to do that. Only if you give me one second to talk. Please. I don't know what games you're playing, but count me out. Uh, Kira, Kira. It's not how do you even know what I think? You don't even know me. So stop acting like you do. I don't feel like crying away. Angelica, I'm very sure to understand this. Is this the reason you came here this early morning? Is this not enough reason? And I. I am telling you that they bewitched my son. And all he's talking about is getting married to the girl. Oh, you don't see the urgency in this matter. Uh, listen, Angelica, in as much as I'm not going to tell you, and I don't know where you are coming from, I need you to understand that this thing you are saying here now is not the problem. The problem we are having now is that Lutana has refused to assist the elders of Omo Diana towards the restoration of the kinghood. Of Umuriana. That is the problem, not this one. Restoration? Yes. What restoration? Whose restoration? Nani, I am talking about a, an issue that is present to me. And you're talking about restoration. Look, if Umudi and the Council of Elders need someone with their restoration, they should look elsewhere and stop distracting my son from doing the need for. You know what I understand here now, Angelica, is that you are not even yet ready to listen to the voice of reason. That's it. Yeah. Look, Nai, I didn't come all the way to banter words with you. I came here because of the respect I have for you. As my late husband's younger brother, I give you respect because respect should be given to whom respect is due. I know you are the only one my son listens to, apart from me. Please. Please, Nai. I want you to talk to him, to get married first, have children, then you and your woman can
and start talking about whatever restoration you mean. Uncle I, I have been wondering why of all the women I've dated all these years, it was difficult for me to stay committed to any of them. And then, suddenly, you decided on your own that she is the one you could be committed to because of this baseless information you have just provided. Yutana, what are you doing to yourself? Why have you sworn never to choose happiness or peace of mind for yourself? Mama, are you going to stop? First, it was the city girl. The city girl who has sold her dignity for cash, for money, to all the men in the city. And now this girl, this classless village girl, the nameless quack nurse, that is who you want to be the mother of my grandchildren. So this is it, mother. This is the reason you are rejecting her. Because of this class thing you're obsessed about? They are not in any class at all. They are poor, wretched, and nowhere to be found in the scheme of things. She's nowhere to be found in the scheme of things. No doubt, no problem about it. But one thing is certain, she is the one that I have been looking for and there is no way I am letting her go. Now listen to me, Lotanna. Listen to me, I am not going to allow that. There's no way I am going to allow you to throw yourself to the wolves, not on your life. I, 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 I want to find something out, please. I, I, am I still the one who is supposedly in charge of this meeting? Am I? Ichi and Ichi, you are still the one in charge. But as you can see, this boy is trying to make a fool of himself. And there's no way I'm going to allow that. Angelica, please, can you stop? What is wrong with you? Do you want me to leave? You came to me and asked me to come here and talk some sense to him. But as, 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 as it is very clear now, you are the one that is doing most of the talking. So I think I have to, I, I just have to... No, 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 Dependent. It took me time to find that there is no way I'm going to let her go just like that. I'm keeping her. That's it. Hey, listen, eh, Lieutenant, eh, don't see it as if I do not believe you in what you are explaining. I believe you completely. But I have a problem. If this girl is the same one that my brother showed you, how come she has been walking right under your nose all these years and you didn't see her? Well, I'll explain to you, Uncle. She's not the erotic kind of dresser. If you ask my mom, she'll tell you. It's just that that particular day was the very first time I said eyes in our cleavage. And boom, here comes the pendant my father spoke about. With all due respect, Uncle, I have found the one my father spoke about. And there is no way I am letting her go. We are in this mess because Okati Igwe messed up that year. He brought this upon us and royalty vanished from our land. And why should we now believe that his son will be the savior we need? Ichie, please, please, please. If you have nothing reasonable to say, I suggest you keep your mouth shut. Why are you pointing accusing fingers at an innocent man? We all know what happened year past and the effort made by the person you are accusing, the innocent man, to bring things to order. If at all anybody should point accusing fingers, then none of us is exempted because it is our greed that kept us in this position. Yes, pointing accusing fingers is not the reason we are here. We are here to right the wrong since an opportunity has been presented to us. So, if we believe this is a sacred duty that Lotana should do for the kingdom, then why must we beg him to do that? Ichi, you heard the ma, can you please respect yourself? We are here to hear from Ichi Ezike. Let us patiently wait for the man we are here in his house. What is going on? 
Lutena suddenly emerges as the bearer of the sacred ring of the kings and then he finds the girl whom my brother had predicted as his chosen bride. What is this? What is the message hidden in this puzzle? Chemdiche! Chemdiche! Mama, please now. I need your help right now, please. You know I did everything you asked me to do. Don't stop avoiding me, please. You're a very big fool! Mama. Look at you! Eh? I told you what to do. And I even showed you how to do it. You went there and messed up everything. Mama, was I supposed to drug or rape him now? Yes. Please? Mama, if Mama, need please. Be. If need be, you went there and was... Oh, look, sh 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 must I teach you everything? Mama, please, you know I love Lotana so much. No please. way, you've lost your chances. Bye, Mama, please. Mama, please, please, Mama, please, just give me one more chance. Just one more chance, please. Jim Diche, if you don't get your hands off me, I'm going to instruct my driver to beat you up. Get out of here. Please, now, Mama, because... Moses! Mama, please, Mama, take this girl out. Let's stop. You think I'm joking? Let's just stop. I'm going to roll this car on you. Please, Mama, please, um, please, now, just... Come on, take her out! Mama, Mama, please, now. Oh, yeah, Mama, 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 Wait, 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 my mom, take her away! Leave me! Now you come and drive me out of here! Feel like crying away, feel like crying away, feel like running away, feel like crying away, feel like running away, feel like crying away, feel like crying away. If I had known that Lutana was the reason you called me here, I would not have listened to you. Well, first is that um, I want to thank you for coming out here to see me. It shows that you are a woman with deep understanding. You are welcome. So, what is this about? He's not happy. He's not happy that you've been avoiding him. He's not happy that you've not been taking his calls. I mean, he has been trying to call you more than a million times. That is because I'm avoiding his mother's troubles. I mean, Ike, I don't want more troubles. I don't want any problems. I don't, I don't, I don't want. I mean, this is a woman I held in high esteem. A woman I almost gave my life. A woman I defended everywhere. As a woman of class. But suddenly she changed and started calling me names. I mean, what was I supposed to do? But you know that he has nothing to do with the way his mother reacted. Look, he thinks that you have something to do with his future. More reason I am avoiding him. See, Ike, this pendant, I have had it since I was 14. Just one moment I allowed him to see it. Everything just changed. Things have not been the same again. Can I tell you something, Kiru? That guy likes you. Yeah. How? I mean, he has not said or done anything that, that suggests that. But that's because the opportunity has not presented itself yet. Look, he said that you are bold, that you are vehemently audacious. He said that you've never feared him and you've always spoken your mind without looking back. And because of that, he likes me. <laughs> That's weird. He thinks that you are a part of his future. That's why he wants you to give him a chance. And as his friend, I'm begging you, please. I know he's gonna be happy, but please, just do me one favor. Can you call him? Like today, just call him. Like, don't worry, I'll call him when I want. Not now. Are you sure? Yes. Over my dead body! I... That will never happen! Over my dead body will not allow you to marry that wretched thing! Look, you have to bury me first! Before you do such an abominable thing. Angelica, can you please calm down? Calm 
down, you are you are vibrating too much. You see this thing they call high blood pressure? It is actually real. And the way you are pressing yourself, you know, you, you may likely have it. It's not good for you. There is nothing abominable in this thing now. Nothing abominable here. Nah, I don't understand you. Oh, this is your plan. To have my son marry a nobody, right? And who is the somebody here? Jim Dieter. At least, she's better than that if now. Hey, please. please, that's enough. That's enough. At this point, I don't care how you feel, what you feel. As long as my uncle here and the rest of the kinsmen accept that, I will go ahead, I will marry that girl and take her to the city. You will be here. In fact, you're alone. Are you daring me? Uh, Lotana? I'm not daring. I'm telling you exactly what I am going to do. Before the manifestation of my father's pendant, I love that girl. And today I love that girl and I will continue to love her. There is nothing you will do about it. If you have a problem with it, it's either you deal with it or you forget about it. What is it? Why, why can't you just come down? Why? Why are you not going to allow this boy to do what he wants? At least for the very first time in his life. Why are you trying to impose ideas on him, even to the extent of preventing him? from carrying out his father's destiny for him. Why? That is because it's a very stupid destiny. Now, you are not getting my point. What is the point? Oh, what you're saying is that Lotana should adhere to the choices his father made for him before he, before he died and leave me when that is still alive. You are not understanding this thing. You are not allowing him to make his own choice. What are you even saying, Angelica? Why are you doing this? Are you not going to force somebody who is alive? To make a choice from your own choices. Is that what you want? Nani! Nani! Why? What is it now? Look, Chim DJ is. Chim DJ is the woman that you found for him. The one you are trying to impose on him. She is not the one he found for himself. Why are you not getting it? Even before all this whole idea of his father's friend that came into the picture, he made it clear. He has said it countless number of times that he does not love Chim DJ. So even if this uh, pendant uh, on Kiru, whatever, did not come up, he would not have married her in the first place. It's that very simple. Why are you not getting it? Why are you not getting it? Why are you still pressurizing him that he must marry Chemich? Why? Nay, you don't understand. Understand what? I spent a lot you on that girl. Uh, his money. You spent a lot on that girl. But what you are spending, is his money. I tell you, we know you now. You don't have any money. The entire money you are spending is Lotana's money. And the owner of the money is ready to let go of everything. Why are you not going to see it as part of the sacrifices you have made to charity and let everything go? Please, for the sake of peace, let it go. I want you to think about this. Because of your family. Very important. And I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I thought it was only manners you don't have. But I can see that you have no respect at all. Doesn't look to me that your mother did much of a job. Enough! Enough of your shenanigans, madam. When I said it was enough, I meant every single word. You can insult me all you like, but don't you ever bring in my parents into this. Because they did a better job on me than your parents did on you. How dare you! How dare you what? That you had the right to run your mouth and I shouldn't run my mouth just because you're older than me? Who the hell do you think you are? You know, I really salute Rotana for enduring you. You are so annoying. If you were to be my mother, I would have this one you long time ago. Better still, look for a way to kill you. Hey! You see? I said it. Go ahead. Go ahead, say it! This is time for true confession! You are trying your true colors! Oh! This is your intention! And you are here deceiving my son, deceiving him! You actually want to kill him! You want to kill my son! What? Everybody come out here! Correction, madam! I am not deceiving your son. Rather, your son deceived me. He put me down to this place to be dealing with your appearing attitude. And did you think that your son always talk about how good and how kind you are? Does he even really know who his mother is? A devil of a just <laughs> woman. A very decisive and classy lady. 
my son found for himself. Who could have helped him to complete his alluring class and destiny? Why? Why did I chase her away? Why? This truth from me all these years. He warned me never to mention it to anyone. Ukido, my daughter. Safeguard this pendant. Protect it with your life. As you grow, it will grow with you. No matter where you relocate to, you locate with it. The time will truly come. The time for the restoration. Without you, the restoration will never happen. This pendant will lead you close to great men and you will discover who you are. But I'm scared. You should not be scared for you have the spine of royalty. The one who killed her husband will resist you, for she doesn't know who you are. The priest will speak when the time comes. Those who think they are covered will be uncovered. More importantly, do not discuss this with anyone. Not even the one you call your mother. That encounter was very brief, yet very explosive. As a teenager, I could not process all that he said. But everything is becoming clear now. But you should have mentioned this to me, my daughter. He warned me. He warned me never to mention it to anyone. Not even the one I call mother. And that brings me to the question that has been bogging my mind. And what is it, my daughter? Mother. Are you truly my biological mother? What? I am sorry, mother. But I really need to know what is going on. He qualified you as the one I call mother. That statement is very suggestive. There was nothing stopping him from calling you my mother. But he said the one I call mother. Mother, please. Is it what I'm thinking? Mother. I don't get any of this. How did you get to know my house? I never gave you my ad, and I'm sure your son Lieutenant never did. How I was able to trace this place is no longer necessary. The important thing is that I am here. To ask me to come back and marry your son? What makes you think I'm going to do that? Whitney, I want you to do that for me. Because I know you love my son very much. Look, you have every right to be upset with me because of the way I treated you the last time. 
I have realized my mistakes, my dear. I have realized my mistakes and that is why I'm here to apologize. Look, you are the one who is supposed to be with my son. Are you doing all this so your son would not get married to the one his father has chosen for him? What? And how did you get that? Lutana is my best friend. He tells me eventually everything. He wasn't able to propose to me because he was waiting on the woman with the sacred pendant. He loved me and wanted to propose. But the instruction from his father stopped him. Why does it appear to me that everybody believes that baseless and useless story? Okatibwe was failure in life. A fool who practically never achieved anything all his life. Where would decent people like you believe whatever nonsense story he must have told my son? His son. He may not have achieved anything in life by your judgment. But he was able to produce the best man in the world. Lotana. That alone is the best achievement ever. Please. I am really engaged to someone else. Let your son marry the one who the father has already chosen for him. One who will help him realize his destiny. <laughs> Nkiru, you are actually looking very beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you, Papa. You know, who would have believed that this is that same Nkiru that was a caregiver to your body? <laughs> who would have believed that? Uh, Look at how you have transformed her. In her, actually, I see the evidence that money is indeed very good. <laughs> um, I, I'm just doing my best and I hope Better days ahead. <laughs> Good, better days ahead. Come, come, please, can we see that? Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, have you fixed any date yet? Um, we're still working on it, but hopefully before months end. Good. Ahead of the month is actually very brilliant. Uh, but you will agree with me that it would be nicer to have your mom give her consent. Well, Uncle, we. We will get to that. But right now, all we need to talk about is the date. Yeah, we should be thinking about the date. Very nice. It's important. Yes. And uh, I must have to let you know that I will do my level best to have your mother give her consent. Because it is important. She gives the consent. In the meantime, Ankiru, I don't know whether I should be telling you this. But it is important, I tell you. Welcome in advance to our family. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, I need to go inside and get you something to drink. Don't even say no, because I don't think you know for nothing. Come. Do you love him that much? Mama, I don't know why you're asking me that. Because you look so happy and contented whenever you're with him. It's like a better part of you comes out. Yes, Mama. I I really, really love him so much. You know, I never thought that was going to be possible considering the fact that we got off on the wrong foot and all. But he's a nice guy and he makes me really happy. I know you glow when you're with him. But, Mama, you sound exactly thrilled for me. Why is that? 
It's not that I don't want the best for you. I've always wanted the best for you. I've been praying for you all these years. But... Mama. You know I am no longer a kid. And I know it when you're trying to hide something from me. What is it? I don't understand. Is it about him being from Ubudiani again? Nothing of such, my daughter. But there is something. And you should tell me. Inkeru, I've told you I don't want to discuss that. Can you respect that decision? Father gave me this at the bush part. The day he was killed. Preserve it, Lieutenant. Preserve it. Protect it. Protect it the way you will protect your mother. Even if you want to relocate to anywhere, relocate with it. Make sure you protect it very, very well. Preserve it, Lieutenant. Those were my father's exact words. Good. Good. Now look straight into my eyes and tell me that you still don't understand it. I... I understand it to mean that my father wanted me to marry a particular girl. The girl who bears the replica of the pendant. I have found her. And I am going to marry her with or without my mother's consent. Yes. I do not know what other meaning you elders are given this. Lotanna, your father prepared you for greatness. Yes. He already waited you with a woman. Ever before you realized who the woman is. That, of course, is the reason you have not been able to propose to any woman. Even when you have made up your mind to do so. I know, so should I just go ahead and marry the woman and move on with my life? Mm. Your father spoke of restoration. And by restoration, he was talking about the restoration of the kingship of Umodiani Kingdom. Okay, let me make it clear here and now. Lotanna. Lotanna, the son of Okatigwe. Okatigwe of the great Umodiani Kingdom. Lotanna, you are going to be the new king of Umodiani Kingdom. Very simple. That's a mistake. You say what? That's a mistake. Mistake where? The priest of Umodiani cannot be making any mistake. If he has named you the coming king, then you are the coming king. But that also means you are going to marry Chimdiche, the maiden of the land, the one your mother found for you to become your wife. If you marry that maiden of Omoma, you cannot be king. Then to hell with your kingship. I found the woman I am going to marry, and I am going to marry her with or without my mother's consent. If marrying your Chimdiche is what will make me king, then I said, 
to help with your kingship. We are going to Umoma. And when we get to Umoma, we will know the way forward. Mama? Oh, oh. <laughs> Mama, good afternoon. Oh, you're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. How are you doing? I'm fine. Mama, is there anything in this house? I'm so famished. You don't have any problem. There is food in the house. Go in and serve yourself. Thank you, Mama. No. How is your health? I'm okay, my daughter. Good afternoon, ma. What is it? Ma, I have something to tell you, but I don't know how to say it. That's, that's what I say. I'm just come and... Tell me what? Um, ma, this issue is eating deep into you. Can you just allow him marry the one he wants? And since when did you start advising me? I'm sorry, ma'am, but I just feel you're worrying too much about My everything. My friend, will you go and mind your business? Look, the next time you meddle into my family issues, I will not hesitate to fire you. Now get out. Get out! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ma'am. Is it appearing to me as if I have lost everything? Why? <sighs> what is going on here, Mr. Lutana? You never mentioned you were coming with your people today. I'm still as confused as you are. Well, let us calm down and hear Ghosts of our ancestors, we thank you for guiding us to the end of this journey and finally proving yourselves. What is going on, Luta? Elders of Umudiani, have you finally come to take her away from you? No one has come to take her away from you, woman. You were planted by the king to achieve the mission of the gods and that you perfectly did. And that is why the gods must remain good to you till the end of time. Your majesty, my princess, Princess, what? Who are you people? And, baby, what's going on? Why is he bowing down to her? And why is he calling her princess? That's what you'll find out. But indeed, she is. Who gave you that pendant? Nkido, my daughter. Safeguard this pendant. Protect it with your life. As you grow, it will grow with you. No matter where you relocate to, you locate with it. The time will truly come. The time for the restoration. Without you, the restoration will never happen. This pendant will lead you close to great men and you will discover who you are. But, but I'm scared. You should not be scared, for you have the spine of royalty. 
The one who killed her husband will resist you, for she doesn't know who you are. The priest will speak when the time comes. Those who think they are covered will be uncovered. More importantly, do not discuss this with anyone. Not even the one you call your mother. A king I was meeting for the first time. The king you were meeting for the first time. And he gave you specific instruction. Could you remember? Yes. He said, I have the spine of royalty and must not be afraid of anyone or anything. He said the one who killed her husband will resist me for she does not know who I am. And he said I must not mention the encounter to anyone. Not even the one I call mother. And I stand here to speak on behalf of the gods that that man was the great citizen of the modern kingdom. He was your father. This woman here is not your biological mother. She was positioned by the gods to achieve the mission of the gods. She has been so good to you. She raised you and she remains your mother. Both of you, hand over the pendants to me. Add it off. That is the, the climax of the process. Give it to him. is your wife, the wife your father prepared for you, and the very wife her own father prepared for you, the very queen that will bring about the manifestation of the girl's missions, the restoration of those things that were lost, and that will trigger off the exposure of so many things in the kingdom of Amodiah. I hereby declare you married, both of you. Mm -hmm. How dare you? You interrupted a sacred process. A sacred process that I've already seen a sacred marriage. 
sacred marriage of sacred paintings. How dare you? The missing of is here already. And an abominable being like you is not supposed to be found anywhere around this sacred place. You must be a fool, a very big fool, to have referred to me as an abominable being. Look, I have no business with your fault or whatever you call it. I am Madame Angelica, the woman always on the move. I gather that you and the elders brought my son to this godforsaken wretched compound. Probably to assist him marry this classless black nurse. It will never happen! Can you believe me? The gods know everything and the gods can do everything. The gods, of course, know the best way to handle any unfortunate mortal, a disobedient mortal. The gods can handle perfectly well. I would have reminded you of a sizable whitlow on that your dirty lips for dropping such dirty words. By the way, you have no right to speak ill of our princess. Our respected princess of the great Tomodana kingdom. How dare you speak ill of her? What? What are you talking about? Who is the princess? This thing? Over my dead body! Oh. Oh. I hereby give this sacred offer to you, symbol of authority that traditionally empowers you to be the king of the modern kingdom. Handle it, and the gods will aid you, and will forward do the rest for you. I vow on this sacred of all that I would always abide and move on the path of justice. Yes. Yes. Like I said, the girls know better. You have done the first. The very first step of the journey I've taken. You have done okay. You have to do all year. You will do all four. And finally, you will do unko. Going on. Why, why are you asking me to stop? What is the meaning of this? Why are you starting yourself? What is this? You should not be scared, for you have the spine of royalty. The one who killed her husband will resist you, for she doesn't know who you are. The priest will speak when the time comes. Those who think they are covered will be uncovered. More importantly, do not discuss this with anyone. Not even the one you call your mother. You killed my father. I was warned. I was warned I must not allow you marry the one your father has chosen for you. That if it happens, that woman will kill me. Angelique, so because of this nonsense you just said now, you killed my brother. 
So this is why you have been preventing my nephew from marrying the woman my brother found for him. Angeliki Bualo. Kita ya wacaranya. Angelika. Okati where your brother hated me. He says what? He didn't like me. And that was why after I poisoned him, he did the same thing I feared before he, he died. Okati where did not do anything to you. He did nothing to you, woman. Remember, I told you that the gods will handle you. You did what you did to him. In fact, you killed him because you simply wanted to cover your evil. You wanted to cover your witchcraft. But I tell you this. The gods are always wise. And you cannot, can never cover that star which he put into the world. You have done a cap or a four. I have enjoyed a much younger. You can't walk in that. Do the fourth one for the fourth market day. Do it from home and leave the rest for the gods. Here I come. Hey! Hey! The ghosts have the final And feel like running away 